This is a live webinar. I'm posting this to, we got a ton of people here live on Zoom. And I'm also streaming this to Facebook and YouTube. So how are you doing guys? On this webinar here, the special class, I'm going to be doing some live case studies of looking at some deals that I've done with my sons in the past and deals we're working on now. And I'm going to be talking about vacant land. So this is not going to be like my typical webinar. If you've seen my webinars before, um, it's, it's, they're all really good, but this is going to be a little different because I'm going to actually be diving deeper into some of the details and how we do some of these deals. And my goal is to answer all of your questions if you're watching us here on Zoom right now, okay? Um, and at the end of this, I'm going to make you an irresistible offer. There, I said it. There's the elephant in the room. Um, I'm going to make you an irresistible offer to invest in my course. See right there? It's called Simple Land Flips. Dot, well, Simple Land Flips. Um, you could buy it right now on my website for $4,997. <laughs> I wouldn't suggest that though, because I'm going to give you a screaming hot deal here. It's going to be way, way less. And I'm going to give you the opportunity to get all of your money back if you invest in my course. And you don't even have to do a deal. You just have to go through the program and implement it. That's it. I'm going to pay you to complete my program so you can get it for free. And if you pay it on PayPal, I will pay your PayPal bill. So stay tuned, right? And you, even if you don't want to get the course, that's fine. Or maybe you already have it, or maybe you already know how to do land deals. That's totally cool. But you're going to learn something nice. You're going to learn something here. And I think the deals I'm going to show you and the questions that are going to come in, um, I think are going to inspire you to greater, bigger, and better, greater things. Okay. So I'm excited about doing this. It's a Saturday, the 15th of October. If you're wondering if this is actually really live and you may be watching this as a recording later on but that's cool. Just hang out and chill. And this is going to be really, really good. I just asked everybody that was on here in this Zoom room here, who has done a vacant land deal before? And listen to this, Stephen, $10,000. Lenny did a deal. She made between, he or she, I'm sorry, Lenny, probably lady, um, 200 to 300% ROI. Sorry, Lenny. Uh, Paul made $12,000 on a vacant land deal. Morris made $26,000. Uh, Adrian made $5 because he says it's in LA. I don't know. Maybe he didn't lose any money. That's good. <laughs> Paul did 800% return on investment on his deals. I don't know what those numbers are exactly, but they are really stinking good. Dennis made $15,000 on a land flip and he's getting some cash flow on it, maybe. So he's getting 750% ROI, 750% ROI. And guys, these numbers are normal. Now, I'm not promising that this is going to happen to any of you. Let me give you a huge disclaimer up front. I'm going to be brutally honest with you here, okay? Would you rather me tell you the truth or lie to you? I always, always, always tell you the truth, and here it is. Most people never make any money in this real estate business. No. Most people who buy or invest in a real estate program or listen to 100,000 hours of podcasts and YouTube videos on how to do real estate deals never do anything with what they learn. Most people who invest in make money from home, make money online, make money in real estate education, never do anything with it and lose money. Most people do that. What's the percentage of people that succeed? I don't know. I'd like to think that my students are higher success than uh, most. And I, I'm pretty sure they are because I really keep things simple. But the fact of the majority is it's only a small, the fact of the matter is whatever I'm trying to say, it's only a small minority that actually make money in this business. But let me tell you the honest truth. The thing that I have found to be the simplest, easiest way for me to make money in real estate is flipping vacant land. I've, I've, done, I've been in this business since 2007, part-time. I went full-time in 2009. I've done tons of house deals, made a lot of money. I've coached literally thousands and thousands of other students to make a lot of money through my podcasts and YouTube channels and books and things like that. And my courses, so I have a lot of experience. I've done wholesaling. I've done lease options. I've done subject twos. I've done owner financing, done rehabs. I've done short sales and foreclosures and all of that. I've never done commercial real estate. I don't think I might have, but I don't remember. And the thing that I have found to be the easiest for me to make money in real estate is flipping vacant land. And we're going to be talking about that. And I'm going to be showing you how to do that on this webinar. Okay. Now you can still make money doing houses. There's still a place for that. Um, and I'm not saying you should stop doing houses. I'm not saying you should only do land, but I want you to consider it because this could be a great tool in your tool belt for how you can make an extra stream of income. Now we're talking about piles of cash and streams of cash, okay? You get piles of cash by wholesaling vacant land. What that means is you buy it for a thousand bucks, 
you sell it for 8,000 bucks on Facebook or Craigslist or something like that. We're not going in and developing or putting subdividing property, putting entitlements in. We're not doing any of that. We're buying cheap, rural, recreational, vacant land from tired sellers, from tired owners that have owned these things for a while. We're buying them for 25 cents on the dollar. We're getting one out of every 20 to 25 offers accepted. We never talk to the sellers until they actually get our offer. So everything's way easier. And so we're buying it for a thousand bucks or so, 25 cents on the dollar. We're selling it for seven, eight, ten thousand dollars $10,000, either as a quick flip for like a wholesale deal. That's a wholesale, right? And then there's streams of cash. Sometimes we'll buy it for a thousand and sell it for $8,000 on payments, on owner financing. So we'll owner finance that deal out for five years at 9% interest and get $150, $250, Okay. Now, my journey into this is I've been doing houses for a long time. And then I started hearing from friends and other students and people that interview on my podcast who were killing it doing vacant land or like, Joe, you need to check this thing out. And this was when like I homeschool my kids. We have four kids. We've um, uh, adopted all four of our kids by the grace of God and my wife. It's God and my wife who have been uh, helped us be successful so far. I mean, yeah, knock on wood. Our kids are awesome. And thank you, God. So like, We've adopted four kids. What? Okay. So they're amazing. All four of them are super smart and I just love them to death. Uh, so we homeschooled them as well. Cause we home, not because we're anti-public school. We're just so pro homeschool. And we wanted a way to, um, to have more control on what our kids learn. There's so much junk going on in schools today, public and private. And so we wanted a way to teach them real life skills. You know, instead of training them about ancient Greek and Roman history, we wanted to take them there and show them, Greek. Instead of teaching them about science from a lab, we wanted to take them to national parks. And we've traveled for months and months at a time all over the world and in RVs and been able to really have an amazing time with our kids. I didn't want to go see the world when my kids were out of the house and I was retired. I wanted to go see the world now. I wanted to go with my kids now. So we've lived in places like Prague, uh, France, um, all, all over Italy. And we've taken some amazing epic trips. Where we've been gone for two to three months at a time. And I've done deals while traveling. And so one of my big things is designing a business that's really, really simple that you can have other people do the stuff for you, right? So you can go travel the world and just work a few hours a day. I'm not trying to make $20 million a year. You know, I'm just happy to do what we're doing. And I think that you're going to be um, happy as well as you learn this. Now, I've done a lot of houses, right? So I wanted something that my kids could do. And at the time, my teenagers, right now, they're 19 and 17 years old, my boys. My girls are 14 and 11. Uh, when they were, my, my boys were about 14, 15, 15, 16, right around that range. Uh, I wanted to teach them how to do real estate. I wanted to teach them how to start and run a business, you know, how to be dependent, independent, right? Not be dependent on a boss or an employer. Because don't you remember those days? Some of you guys are maybe in there right now. And it's a Saturday and you're like, Oh, you're so glad that the weekend's here and you know you get to learn a little bit about real estate, but you're dreading going back to work on Monday, right? I was kind of at that place where I was stuck in my cubic hell. I was making great money. I was very fortunate. My degree was in civil engineering. I was making good money, but I was a slave to my job and I had to go wherever they told me to go all over the country. I was traveling a lot and I was just one paycheck away from bankruptcy almost, right? Like I was living paycheck to paycheck and uh, I was always no matter how hard I worked, I got paid the same. And I was getting really, really frustrated of this. I felt like it was futile. I, I felt like there was no end in sight. I had to work at this job that I wasn't happy in for 30 years. And then if I got lucky every year, I'd get a 3% raise. Uh, no matter how much profit I brought into the company, I never saw any of that. So I got really frustrated inside. And I wanted to do something where I could work for myself. And I fell in love with real estate as soon as I read the book. Can you guess? Rich Dad, Poor Dad. A lot of you guys have read that as well. Um, so I have been kind of like, I want to teach my boys how to do this and my girls, right? My, my girls will be coming into this as well. So I started hearing about land and I started having friends do it. And then I started kind of doing it myself. And then I started teaching some of my students to do it. And then about two or three years ago, um, well, okay, let me, let me, I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. So we started doing land with my boys. And my teenagers, because when you're doing a house, like you're, it's kind of hard to talk to a seller and negotiate a house 
down to 60, 70 cents on the dollar. Because you have to build a little rapport. You got to negotiate with the seller. You need to understand the ARV or the after repair value, the comps and the repairs. And you got to understand the neighborhood and, and you got to understand the different types of homes there are and understand um, all these complex formulas on how to calculate profit or rehabs on, on a deal. And then if you buy them and hold them and fix them and flip them or wholesale them, it's like very, very complicated. And I just felt like my, I, I didn't have the time, number one. And I didn't feel like my sons could be that good at it at that age, right? Like, um, not that I'm taking anything away from them, but I couldn't be like expecting them to talk to a seller in their 60s when they're like 13 trying to negotiate a deal. I mean, maybe they could have, but then I heard about land and I thought this is fantastic because they can actually, I, we don't talk to sellers. We send a simple letter that goes to voicemail a couple of times, once or twice a week, my sons listen to the voicemails put the information into our database CRM thing, and then send, they can look at online and I'm gonna show you how to do that on this and they can send offers themselves. And so then we only talk to sellers after they get our offer and they call us back. And then by this time too, I've got it outsourced where my boys are kind of the acquisition team. And I have another business partner who is my disposition team. And, but you could also use realtors to sell your deals. So, are you excited? Who's excited about this? Those of you who are on Zoom, who has maybe like a little interest in learning how to do these types of deals? Go ahead and type it in the Zoom here. Yes, I have software that can show you how to get the land. I love it here. Yes, 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 I'm excited. Tell me more. Absolutely, me. Good, I wanna make sure this is interactive. Now, some of you are on YouTube or Facebook. So please type in a comment, give me a thumbs up. If you like this, let me know that you're actually here. Cause I can see your comments and I really, really do appreciate it. And as we're watching this too, guys, please type in your questions in the chat, because I'm going to do my best at the end of my little presentation here to answer all of your questions. Oh yeah. Here it comes in. Yes. I'm interested. All oh, this is awesome. Me, me, me. What's the blah, 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 blah. good question there. CW. I'll get to that. Um, yes. Very excited. Okay, cool. Let's get into this. Uh, I first want to answer some questions here, and I'm going to be diving back and forth between my mind map and a bunch of different little um, websites and things that I have. But let me share my mind map with you right now. If you can type in the chat, let me know you can see the mind map. That would be cool. Let me move it so I can get to my other thing here. Okay, well, never mind. It won't let me do that. All right, you see my land. Now, let's talk about why vacant land. I have a little bit. I wanted something my kids could do with me. Oh yeah, um, I started interviewing some of my students who were doing vacant land. And one guy in particular, Phil Marsh, this is kind of what helped me decide, all right, I'm gonna start teaching other people how to do this as well, okay? And uh, I, I interviewed a student of mine who was doing houses and all of a sudden he's like doing some vacant land and he likes it better. And he's like, this is, Joe, this is amazing, this is awesome. So I interviewed him on my podcast and he's doing $12,000 a month in passive income from vacant land. And he's been doing it for a year. I like, whoa, what? Say that again. <laughs> he said, yeah, Joe. Now we talked about there's two ways to make money with vacant land, right? Piles of cash and streams of cash. And so he said, I'm making 12 grand a month in the streams of cash portion of it where he's selling, buying land and he's selling it on owner financing. He's getting his money back in less than a year and he's getting payments anywhere from a few hundred bucks to 1500 bucks on these vacant lots out in the middle of nowhere. Wow. I said, this is really cool. And so I, th I started talking more about land, what we're doing with my kids. And then tons of people started asking me, Joe, will you teach us how to do what you're doing? And I said, yeah, let's do it. And so I started, I've been teaching this now for less than a year uh, since April, I started teaching how to do vacant land deals and the results have been amazing. I've been teaching them for a long time and I've never had a course or a program that I've taught in the past that had as many success stories and fantastic results as vacant land. Um, so I'm excited about this. And, and one of the reasons why is uh, there's a lot less competition for land. A lot of people don't know about land yet, or they, th they think it's too complicated, or they think that um, I'm just going to stick with houses, you know, but there is a tremendous opportunity that my re direct mail response rates, because we send simple one page letters uh, are three to five times higher than houses. 
So with houses, you're doing really good if you get a half to 1% response rate on houses, okay? With vacant land, we're getting 3%, sometimes 4%, sometimes 2%, but like we're getting an average of 3% response rates with, with our direct mail for houses. And let me say this again. We don't answer the phones live. All the calls go to voicemail. We, we send offers before ever even talking to them. And we get about on an average of one out of 20 to 30 offers that we send out get accepted. Sometimes they even sign the contract and send it back to us without us even talking to them. And in fact, guys, let me show you this deal right here. This is not the main deal I'm going to be talking about today, but this is a deal in Suwannee County, Florida. Um, this was a deal that this seller, I, uh, he, he got my letter and he called me back and said, yeah, I want to sell. And um, so I started talking. Well, he had a question. I think I offered him the final price here was 37. I think I offered him three grand or something like that. And uh, he called me back and said, you know, can you do a little bit better than that? I said, well, tell me about the deal. So he told me about the vacant land. And I said, why do you want to sell it? He said, well, my daughter's getting married and I just need some extra cash to help pay for the wedding. And I said, well, how much did you pay for it? How long ago? And he said, well, we bought it for like six or seven grand uh, five years ago. And I had offered him three grand on this deal. And so I said, well, I'm not going to be able to offer you that much, you know, but like, why don't you just list it with an agent? And he said, yeah, we thought about that. We don't want to, we just want to sell it and get rid of it. And we want somebody else to enjoy it. You know, we bought it originally because we thought we were going to build a cabin on there someday and go travel and enjoy it and ride four wheelers and stuff, but we just never have gotten to it. And I would just like a little bit of extra money here to pay for my, my daughter's wedding. And, um, but he said, can you do better than three? And I said, well, I don't know, what are, you, what are you looking for? And he said, four. And I said, well, maybe we can do like something in the middle. So that's how we, we bought it for about 37.72. And I think that includes closing costs. I'm not sure. Um, and this was a 1.39 acres count, a vacant lot. And if you were to look to see where it is, you'd be like, what? There's nothing there. And that's the whole point. We're selling this cheap rural recreational vacant land out in the middle of nowhere to people who want to go camping. They want to go ride their four wheelers. They want to go hunting. They want a place to build a cabin and camp, get off the grid for a lot of reasons. And there is a lot of people that looking for that kind of land. All right. Well, the reason I brought this deal up is our all in uh, purchase price was $3,772, $3,772. Right. We sold it to a buyer within a month, I think one, one or two months for $12,997. All right. Our total profit on this deal is going to be $12,450, $12,450 profit. But get this, we're getting $250. We're selling it on owner financing. So we're getting $250 a month on this deal. And we, we bought it for 3,700. I forget exactly what our um, down payment was, but it's, we usually get a couple thousand. So we were out of pocket maybe one or $2,000 on this deal. We're going to get all of our money back um, in, well, my, yeah, okay, here it is. We're going to get all of our money back in less than a year, in about six to eight months. The cash on cash return on this deal is 125%. What does that mean? Write this down. Your cash on cash return is your profit divided by your cash invested in the deal. How much cash did you get in that first year from the deal and how much cash did you put into the deal? And you take the cash you got back divided by the cash you put in. And if you're doing houses, you're typically trying to get between 10 to 15% cash on cash return. Does that make sense? You're trying, if you go put $20,000 down and get financing, you're hoping to get 10 to 15% return on the cash that you put into that deal. So if you put $20,000 down for a down payment, using leverage, all right, after all of your expenses, you got vacancies, maintenance, management, repairs, future capital expenditures, expenditures, taxes, insurance, and all of that stuff, right? The end of the day, after all your expenses, you're doing good if you make 15% cash on cash return. That beats the stock market. There's a lot of good tax write-offs, but guys, 125% cash on cash return on this deal. I got my money, we're getting our money back within eight months on this deal. Where else could you put like a thousand or two thousand dollars out of pocket and own a property free and clear with no debt, no mortgage payments? Who would like that? All right. Now I'm not like all debt is evil. And I'm not that one of those guys, right? I get there's a place for debt. But how would you like to own a debt-free, a free and clear 
investment property paying you $250 a month that only cost you one or $2,000 to buy. You can only do that with vacant land. There is no better and easier, faster way to get cash flow than flipping and selling vacant land. Do you understand? Uh, my total ROI on this deal is 337%. Now get this guys, we bought this all by text and electronic signature. I know you can't see it, but what happened was the guy called, I did talk to him for like five minutes um, and he got the contract. We, we originally sent it to him by text is what happened. And I'm gonna show you how that kind of works in the system here. We sent it to him by text and then uh, he called, but then he's to sign it electronically. We did an electronic signature with FreedomSoft. We get a lot of our contracts back where we send it to the seller. They just print it. Nobody has fax machines anymore, right? And they just print it, sign it with their pen and take a picture of it with their phone and then text it back to us. And this is all kept inside of the our CRM. Uh, Ron's asking a good question here. How do you check clear title when you're buying lots? We use title companies. We have a nationwide title company that closes all of our deals. And this is why I set up the system this way, right? I didn't want to do any of the day-to-day -day work. I, I'm too busy. I don't have time for that. So I found a way to get my sons. Well, I have a company that sends the letters, right? I have my sons that evaluate the leads as they come in and send the offers out. And then I've got a, a realtor, a title company that helps me sell the deals on the back end. Or sometimes I partner with people as the disposition team to sell the deals, okay? So let's go back to this mind map here. I, I'm so excited about this stuff. This is just so much fun. A um, lot less competition, all right? I'm too busy. I don't like talking to sellers. And you don't have to answer the phones live or pay for expensive uh, 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 answering services. I don't like, I'm not good at negotiating. I don't even think you can negotiate huge discounts with sellers for houses over the phone. I wanted to build a business that had real automation. So we send every seller to a voicemail. And in a minute here, I'm going to show you my voicemail and how I put it into the, the FreedomSoft system that we use and that I custom built. Um, my boys listen to voicemails one or two times a week. We send a written offer at 25 cents on the dollar. Now you may be thinking, well, why would a seller want to sell their property so cheap? Who would sell their property that cheap? Listen, it's the same kind of people who would go out and buy a treadmill for $2,500 and sell it for $25 three years later at a garage sale. They just don't want it anymore. They don't care about it. They know they're not going to get the money back that they put into it. It's a sunk cost. They bought that treadmill because they thought they would be using it. They thought they would lose a bunch of weight and they would look really, really awesome. And they're not. Every time they walk past it, it reminds them of how fat they are and overweight they are, sorry. And uh, their, their wife is mad at them that they ever even bought the stupid thing. And all it does is collect laundry. And they're like, I'm just got to get rid of it. It's taking up too much space. It's taking up, it's collecting dust. Even though it works, there's nothing wrong with it. They just want to get rid of it. So they sell it at a garage sale for $25. It's the same thing with vacant land. People buy these lots 5, 10, 20, 30 years ago. They live in another state. They've never been to it or they've only been to it once in the last 10 years, whatever. They're just like, we're sick of paying taxes. They're just done with it. Maybe somebody passed away in the family and they're settling the estate and selling everything. This happens all the time, guys. And so we send them an offer. They don't have to take it, Right but they just are done with it. They're tired. They don't want to have to go through the hassle of selling it with a realtor. Um, and many times when I talk to them, I suggest that they should list it with an agent. So we're never lying to people and telling them, hey, your property is really worth only this. When it's actually, we know it's worth this. We just make them an offer. If we, when we talk to them, if we talk to them, we tell them, you know, you could get a higher price if you sell it with an agent. I always think that's the best way to go. Okay. Um, good question, Stephen and Courtney. I'll get to those later. Um, so keep the questions coming in, guys. Those are really, really good questions. Um, when we send the offers, and I was going to say something else about that, but yeah, anyway. We don't talk to sellers until they accept our offers. Back to this here. And we're getting about one out of every 20. And I want to be conservative here and not make any promises. You know, um, we did a uh, we did a marketing campaign in Colorado. In fact, let me show you here. This is my actual FreedomSoft account. I've custom built FreedomSoft to, um, for us, for, for our land investors. And in Park County, Colorado, it's a very expensive, competitive market. Oh, do I have my numbers here? Shoot. 
Um, oh, here they are. Wait. Oh, did I keep them? Yes. Okay, hold on, hold on. Here it is. Boom. Yes, I got them. Okay, hold on. All right. Um, so Park County, Colorado, okay? Uh, we sent, let me go down here, uh, 5,800 letters. That's a lot. Uh, Gavin and I were doing a 30-day new market challenge a couple months ago. And uh, he was going to go into a new market and do uh, uh, houses. And he went into Baton Rouge. And I went into Park County, Colorado. It's a county that's right south of the Breckenridge and the ski area. It's beautiful there. Very, very competitive because land is so expensive. It's close to the mountains. And a lot of other land investors are trying to do deals there as well. And I kind of knew that. And so I thought, oh, let's just do it anyway, because I want to prove that you can do this even in quote unquote competitive counties. And um, so a lot of people told me you're crazy. You shouldn't go into that competitive of a market. Um, but I said, I'm going to do it anyway. Well, get this. We sent 5,800 letters. We got 78 leads. Now, half of these were texting and half of them were um, direct mail. Good question. Ewan, 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 sorry. Uh, I'm going to show you how to select counties here in just a minute. Um, so overall got 1.3% response rate, but of those 78 leads, we got three deals under contract. So let me get my fancy calculator. Let me get my fancy $1,200 calculator here and do 78 divided by three equals one offer out of every 26 that we sent were accepted here in Park County, Colorado. All right. Now we've already sold two of those three deals. And oh, I'm so excited about this. I know you can't see this. Okay, here we go. There's my number. So screenshot that if you want on a five acre deal. And here's the numbers on the 15 acre deal. Okay, if you can screenshot that if you want. But here we go. On the five acre property, uh, we bought it for 4,500, uh, 4,200 and sold it for 10,999. So we sold it for 11,000. On owner financing. And I'm just gonna go through this really quick here, but we're getting $210 a month passive cash flow and it doesn't get any more passive than this are we saving money for setting aside money for for vacancies and repairs and maintenance and property management and replacing the water heater in five years no we're getting two hundred dollars two hundred and ten dollars a month our total profit on this deal will be eight thousand nine hundred and fifty five dollars our first year cash on cash return is eighty three percent eighty three percent normally we get over a hundred percent cash on cash returns but hey, I'll take 83%, beats the stock market, it beats houses, it beats crypto. All right, the other deal, this is one that's really, really awesome. Um, it's a 15-acre property in Park County, Colorado. We bought it for $13,657. That's all in, including co closing costs because we use a title company. We sold it for $29,000. And we are getting $581 a month on this deal, $581 a month. How many of those, like what's the average income in the United States? Let's just Google it. Now let's do some deep scientific research here and um, let's go to Google. All right, let's go to Google. And what is the average income in the USA? What? 31,000. Let's do household income. I mean, 70,084. You see that there? It must be true. It's on the internet, right? So the average household income, median household income is 70,784. So let me get my $1,300 calculator here that does math really well and do 70,784 divided by, and I'm on this deal, I'm doing $581 a month. Oh, wait, you got to do 70,784 divided by 12. Okay, that's $5,898 a month, $5,898 a month. So how many of these 15 acre lots do I need to do to replace my income at my J-O-B? Divided by 581. Come on, camera. Boom, I need to do 10.15 of those deals. And I can quit my job? Boom, drop the mic. See this mic? Boom, drop the mic. Like, 
I, I don't get that. I mean, I do get excited, but I, I, I get really, really excited. Okay. When I look at these kinds of numbers, this is a deal that is giving me $581 a month in cash flow. And I just need 10 of those deals. Now, everybody's in a different situation. Um, you may need to borrow private money for these deals. You may need to, um, you could use a business credit card. You may have your own cash on these deals. On this particular deal here, we're going to be borrowing private money. We found a private investor and we're going to be paying them off in a year. And then um, after that, boom, it's all debt-free, free and clear money. We're not, we don't have anything that we have to worry about in terms of, uh, you know, again, replacing the water heater, replacing the furnace, replacing the roof, remodeling the kitchen, uh, fixing the house up, you know, losing rent for two months after we evict the tenant. So many best blessings and benefits of this business. All right. Does that make sense? So the third deal, we just got a third deal under contract in Park County, Colorado. And uh, I forget the numbers right now. Um, this was just last week. We were buying it for like $4,300. It's worth about twenty thousand dollars. And we're doing this for five years, by the way. CW is asking how much down. We got about a thousand to two thousand dollars down on these deals, and uh, we're doing it for five years. Um. So this, did you hear my numbers before on this other third deal? We're buying it for forty three hundred. So after closing costs and everything, we'll be all in for maybe general conservatively, we'll be all in for six grand. Then we're going to sell it for twenty five. It's a good worth. You know, worst case, it's we sell it for twenty. That's what a fourteen thousand dollar profit. So fourteen plus twenty one is thirty six. Plus nine is forty five. We made forty five thousand dollars. Let me go back. Our profit on these deals is forty five thousand dollars. Let me go back to my screen here, and it cost us forty eight ninety three. Okay, so forty nine. Did I say my numbers right? Let's let's just say forty five thousand. I'm not good at numbers. Uh, divided by four, eight, nine, three. Four, five, nine, zero. Divided by. Yeah, okay, something like that. We're getting a nine x ROI. Um, good question, Sam. I'm going to show you how we evaluate these deals and how we buy them. Super. Who's? I mean, like, are are you at least a little bit interested in learning how to do this? If you're a little bit interested in learning how to do this, give me a thumbs up right now in the videos or give me a one, type in a one in the Zoom chat if you're just wanting to learn maybe a little bit in how to do this. One, 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 one. Okay, good. Here they come. They're rolling in. All right, good. Lots of people are raising their hands in the Zoom. I love it. I like seeing the interaction. I want to make sure you guys are awake and that you're with me. Even if you're here on YouTube and, and Facebook watching this right now, give me a thumbs up, smash that thumbs up, like this video, subscribe to this channel. And I wanted to, uh, I want to make sure you guys see this. All right. Uh, some common questions again. I already kind of talked about this. Why would someone want to sell their land for so cheap? They just don't want it anymore. Who buys this land? Again, real simple. People who like to go camping. They like to go hunting, ride their four wheelers, shoot their guns, build a cabin. They want a place where they can bug out. You know, when the uh, economy crashes and, you know, we go into nuclear war with Russia, like whatever the fear of the, of the day is, um, people just want a place where they can go out and get and bug out and get new land. It's a safe investment. There's a saying too, that there's a pig for every barn. So you can literally sell and we have properties that are in floodplains. And guess what? Bill Gates is also buying a ton of this land. If you knew this and whether you, whatever you think of Bill Gates and, and um, Jeff Bezos and, uh, Mark Zuckerberg or whatever. These guys are rich and they have a lot of money. You know what they're doing? They're buying land. They're buying vacant land. Bill Gates has, has bought over almost 270,000 acres of vacant land in, I don't know, about 10 or 12 different states. Okay. If anything, we need to hurry up and buy some land before he buys it all. But there's a lot of reasons why people buy cheap land. It's just a place to park their money and we sell it for super cheap. We buy it for cheap and we sell it for super cheap. Some of you are like, well, Joe, where are you going to get the money to buy these deals? Well, we'll help you with that. We lend money. I have money in a self-directed IRA that I lend to students' deals. Um, we, we also use private investors' money. I use private investors for my own deals. Sometimes I reinvest my profits into land deals. Uh, my, my parents have lent money on some of our deals before. You can get business credit cards. I'm not saying you should do this, but if you did use business credit cards, you can pay them back off within a year or less from the cash flow and from the down payments of these deals. Um, and our students lend each other deals also as well. Um, 
The other thing, good deal. Good question, Roberto. I'm getting this question a lot here. How do you evaluate the land to know if it's what it's worth buying? I'm going to show you in just a minute here. Um, what if I make an offer on a bad deal? Can I back out? Yes. Here's the thing. We give ourselves three months to close. Three months. And by the way, do we put in any money for earnest money deposits? Nope. Do we send a proof of funds? Nope. I have a simple one page contract. Here it is. I have a one page contract. That's it. And there's nothing on there for earnest money deposits. I'm not giving them any proof of funds. I'm buying these things for like $3,000, right? I don't have to worry about inspection contingencies and making sure I find a buyer, pretend I'm a cash buyer and, and hope to find another cash buyer that I can wholesale this deal to in a few weeks, right? No, I'm just buying it. And I can put it on a credit card if I have to, or I could use, there's different funding companies that we work with. And we give ourselves three months to close because these there's not much competition for these land deals, right? With houses, you've got to close as soon as possible. You've got to be like, as soon as that seller calls, you need to call them back right away. You need to make sure that uh, when you get under contract, I mean, if the seller's generous, they give you 30 days. If you try to ask for more than that, forget it. You're out of here. But we give ourselves three months to close and our contract also gives us an additional 30 days. And guess what? There's also a clause in the contract that says, I can cancel it for any reason whatsoever. All right. So you can always go back to the seller and renegotiate or cancel the deal. So sometimes you just don't know. You know, you don't, it's hard to tell. We never go look at the property. Sometimes we have a realtor go look at it. Sometimes we hire someone to go take pictures. But bottom line, we don't really know what we're getting into until buyers start going to that lot and telling us things like, hey, I can't get over this lane. You know, I can't get over this roped off uh, road and the neighbor's really mad and they're chasing me with a shotgun or something. That's never happened to me. But like, hey, uh, this has happened to me. Uh, I can't get to the property because it's flooded. Like the road to the property is underwater. Like, oh my gosh, we started freaking out, but we didn't buy it yet. Okay. We found out, oh yeah, this is in a floodplain. Oops. We forgot to look. Oh, what are we going to do now? Well, you know what? A few weeks later, we sold it to somebody who was looking for land because it only floods, you know, uh, once or twice a year. Somebody else wanted to buy that land. Why? They wanted to go mudding. They wanted to get their four wheelers in the mud and get and make a dirty mess. All right. Some people buy wetlands so they can go deer hunting, not deer hunting, uh, duck hunting. Right. So whatever, there's a pig for every boat or there's a pig for every barn. That's what I'm saying. Okay. So you can always back out of a deal if it's bad. Um, what if you work a full-time job? This is exactly why you need to learn land investing because you don't have to be there to answer the phones live. English may be a second language to you as well. And you're concerned or worried about having to talk to sellers and them understanding you. I have a lot of students I'm working with. I just interviewed a student, uh, a friend of mine who's not a student, but a friend who um, is has, since January, so it's been nine and a half months now, has netted over $800,000 in profits. That's according to what he says. I'm not making any claims or promises that this can happen to you. Uh, but he was a homeless guy, an immigrant from China, like four or five years ago, homeless. And he started wholesaling houses, learned about land, started doing land. And he works about 20 hours a week. And he has one part-time assistant that he pays $2 an hour for. That's it. He sends about, now he is sending about 10,000 letters a month, which is a lot. You definitely don't want to start with that. But he's doing a lot of marketing. He has netted net, net profits, profits, net, Okay over $800,000 in the last nine and a half months doing vacant land. And English was his second language and he was homeless. Uh, so it's funny, you know, if you go to him and you complain about like um, whatever you complain about, <laughs> uh, he just tells you to shut up and get to work. This is, a, this is why I love doing podcasts. I get to meet guys like this. So you're not going to lose your nights and weekends and um, you can get someone else to do almost all of the work. Um, what if you don't like talking to sellers? You don't have time. Well, you don't, we have a voicemail system that, um, works. You, you send the letters, they leave a voicemail, you send them an offer and you get one out of every 20 or 30 offers accepted. Now I'm going to walk through the steps. These are the exact steps from my course. I'm going to walk through these steps real quick. And I'm going to show you a lot of things here in, um, uh, uh, freedom soft and different websites. I'm getting so many good questions here. I wish I could just stop and answer them. Um, do we sell land to developers? No, because usually a developer wants to buy more premium land that is outside of the suburbs. And I don't want to go, especially if you're just getting started, you should go after the cheaper land further out. 
our lots are typically an hour or two hours away from any city, big city, okay? Um, you can certainly sell land to developers, but what's happened in the last six months? A lot of developers are pulling back. They're not buying. They're not. They're stopping to build houses. They've got a huge inventory. They have a problem with selling. They're not going out there buying new land right now. So a lot of the land investors that were selling to developers six months ago are not anymore. And so they're going back to cheap, rural, recreational, vacant land. Well, anyway, um, so we don't target the more expensive premium properties at first. Now, it's, it is a more advanced strategy because those properties do cost a little more, right? So you, you'll buy them for maybe $100,000 and sell them for $200,000 to developers. But that's, that's, a little more, that's a little higher risk tolerance. I just want you to get started in your first deal, help you make your first five or 10 grand. You do one of these a month, guys, you can quit your job. One, you can do one of these deals a month and quit your job. Now, when you quit your job, you don't have any income, passive income coming in. So it's active income. Nothing wrong with that though, right? But slowly you build your passive income so you can quit your job or quit wholesaling for a whole year and stop not even work at all. And you still got money coming in. All right. So, excuse me. These are the steps. And the first one is to pick a market. The first one is to pick a market. I'm going to give you a website right now. I'm just going to start walking through this stuff. The first place I go is landwatch.com. And if we go click on search here, we see the entire US. And Landwatch is a website owned by land.com. And basically, it's a site where uh, it's, it's like the biggest website on the internet for selling, for buying and selling land. All right. And we only like to do cheap rural recreational land. So I want only land under a hundred thousand dollars here. Okay. Now you can still do deals on more expensive ones. I'm just saying for now, when we're starting for our first deal, let's look for these little three acres that we're selling for 12 grand. So this guy, Ben Brashears, for Compass Land Real Estate, he probably bought this thing for three or four grand and he's selling it for 12 grand, okay? In Franklin, North Carolina, Macon County. I like Macon County. Guess what? I've done deals there before. All right, so here's the point I want to show you here. There's a whole point of this. We want to follow the demand. Hmm, what does that mean? Well, it means we want to keep this easy. There's a reason I call my course Simple Land Flips because we got to keep it simple. K-I-S-S, what does that stand for? Keep it simple, stupid. Now, none of us are stupid, but sometimes we act stupid because we complicate things. Listen, I was a professional student for three years before I actually started making money doing deals. Why? Because I kept on complicating everything. Now, I'm not going to ask you, do you, are you a professional student? Are you done spending so much money on education and it's time to finally start making money? I think that's a lot of us, right? Matt, good question. No, they do not need utilities. We do not need to have electric, sewer, phone, water on the properties. We don't. Okay, so let me go back to here. We're back at Landwatch, right? We want to see where, where is the demand. We want to go. Competition is good. If you're trying to go into an area where there is not a lot of activity, that's a bad sign. That means there's not a lot of activity there. You want to go where there's already people buying land. And I'm going to show you how you can quickly and easily for free find the hot spots around the country where there is a lot of activity going on. All right. So I want you guys here in the Zoom that are watching me. I want you to this be interactive now. And I want you guys to uh, tell me where to go look. So we're looking for under properties under 100 grand. And I for when we're getting started here, I don't want the little quarter acre lots in the city for home building, okay? I want recreational land kind of out in the city where you can go and shoot on it, hunt, camp or whatever. You can't go camping in a subdivision lot with new houses next to you, okay? So we're gonna do minimum one acre, maximum 20 acres, one to 20 acres. All right, now we're gonna go down here and look at this. And let me zoom in a little bit. Okay. Number one state is North Carolina. These are just active listings. These aren't all of them. These aren't all of the properties that are in the MLS. These are just the properties that are being purchased, advertised, and sold on Landwatch or the land.com websites. But this is a pretty good barometer of where the activity is. North Carolina, Texas, Florida, Georgia, Tennessee, California, Arizona, Michigan. This is where people are doing a lot of, there's a lot of activity. 
Well, the other cool thing is I can scroll down here and I can check the word sold. So I'm gonna check sold. Now this is just kind of where it all starts. This isn't gonna be exactly how I pick my markets, but I wanna show you some things here. So look at this, all of a sudden, Texas, 21,693 properties that are currently actively listed and sold. Now, it doesn't mean everybody should do deals in Texas. And Texas is the biggest state and they're proud of it. They will gladly tell you that if you ask them, but they're the biggest state, right? God bless Texas. And, but that's why there's so many of them. But look at this, North Carolina, Florida, California, Tennessee, Georgia, Arizona, Virginia. If I click on see more, you'll see a lot more states here, right? So can you do deals in Missouri? Yeah, there's a lot of them. 4,200, can you do deals in Massachusetts? Yeah, but you know what? There's only 132. Maybe let's not focus on Massachusetts. How about New York? Oh, look at that, 3,900. There's a lot of people in New York City, in Rochester, city, you know, the cities in New York, um, in New Jersey, who just, they want to get away from the city and get out into the country. I mean, who wouldn't want to live here? You can buy this 1.5 acre lot in Nevada, Lovelock, 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 Nevada for 12 grand. Beautiful, right? Okay, so I want you guys right now in the Zoom, tell me to pick one of these states. Tell me which state to pick. And I'm going to show you some more details about those states. All right, somebody picked North Carolina. It's the first one, Helen. North Carolina, here we go. They have 7,200. That's a lot. If we scroll all the way up here, um, if I go to show see less, it ranks these by states, all right? Now, uh, that just because it is the most popular state doesn't mean you should be doing deals there. I sometimes like to look at not the top one or two, but the, all of the other ones down below, okay? So if we click on North Carolina, people ask me all the time, can you do deals in Indiana or Ohio? Like Julie just asked, can you do deals in Indiana? Well, let me ask you something. Do people go hunting and camping in Indiana? People who live in Indianapolis, where do they go if they want to go fishing or hunting or camping? Right there, you can, you can do them there. All right, so now um, we're looking at North Carolina here. I got people saying, please pick Oklahoma, please, please. Now, this is interesting. Look at this. The mountains region is the most popular one. And those of you in North Carolina, you probably know why. It's beautiful up there, right? You can look at these properties that you can get out there. Just gorgeous. 1.23 acres for 18 grand. All right, now look at this. This tells you the most popular counties. Cherokee County, Clay County, Jackson County, Ash, Rutherford, Macon, Haywood, Wilkes. This deal I just showed you a little bit ago with my son that we did together was in Wilkes County, North Carolina. Okay, so which one of these do you choose? I don't know. I mean, like a lot of people are going to Cherokee because it's the most popular one, but I want to follow the demand. I want to know where is the most activity. So let's go to Zillow. And let's just look at North Carolina, for example. I'm going to type in NC. And now walk, bear with me here. I'm going to go to solds. I don't want the real expensive ones. I'm going to do max 200,000. All right, let's do home type. I only want land. All right, now let's go to more. I want one to 20 acres. I only want the cheap stuff. Again, I'm not saying you can't do quarter acre lots. I have a lot of guys that are doing wholesaling quarter acre lots. Okay, so those are sold, but we also now let's look in the last 90 days. 90 days. Now, wait a minute, Joe, I want to show you something here. Before I, so there's 3,300 total, right? I don't know how many, like in the last five years, 10 years, I don't know. But Joe, you know, the last three months, what's been going on? Like we've had recession, inflation, high interest rates, everything costs more expensive. Gas, they're down now, but they'll go back up again. And like, it, the, it, you know, the, the mortgage interest rate has doubled. Um, it's just looking pretty grim right there, depending on who you voted for. But like, nobody can deny that, Things aren't looking that great right now in terms of the economy. Are people actually really still buying vacant land? All right, let's look here. Last 90 days, apply. Is that right? 3,300? Oh, it did do it. 3,376 properties in the last 
90 days, the last three months. Are you serious, McCall? Yeah, let's look at the last 30 days. 952 vacant lots between one to 20 acres under 200 grand have been sold in the last 30 days in North Carolina. That may sound like a lot or it may not. I like to just do 90 days here. Because again, we are following the demand. And if I sort this whole list from low to high, now some of these are selling for a dollar. Really, that's just like the down payment. But if you scroll down, these are typically just down payments. So sometimes what I'll do is I'll say a minimum of 5,000. Still 3,300, okay? Here's a one acre lot that sold for five grand. This, so these are the cash deals typically, okay? Guys, who's doing these deals? Investors, you and me. All right, look at this, 3,300. Well, let's look at Florida. What's going on in Florida? 2,500 in the last 90 days. Somebody said Indiana, right? 394. Well, okay. There is activity in Indiana, but would you rather focus on Indiana or North Carolina, Florida? Well, I think you're, you, you know, there may be more competition in North Carolina and Florida, but there's also way more buyers. So I kind of like going into areas where all about following the demand. What's another state? Somebody said was begging me to please look at Oklahoma. Oklahoma, 619. That's still really good. But here's the cool thing about what we're doing here. We're looking for the pockets. Where's all the activity going on? Look, there's a bunch of stuff going on down here. What's going on down here? Let's zoom in. Trying to, there we go. A uh, bunch of activity out here, out here. So we're looking for the pockets of activity, right? Um, somebody was asking to go to uh, Pennsylvania, PA. 676. Now you see the cluster of pockets here. These are areas that are doing a lot of activity. Now, there's a couple different ways you can narrow it down into counties. So let we we some I think we chose North Carolina, didn't we? If I go to yeah, so North Carolina here, we have these are the counties, Cherokee, Clay, Jackson, Ash County in North Carolina, right? So let's go back here to NC. A lot of activity in North Carolina. Why? Well, because it's close to Atlanta, Nashville, Washington, D.C., Richmond, Virginia, um, Charleston, Savannah, Myrtle Beach. Like it's a good area where there's, and the mountains are just beautiful over here. Um, so let's look here at Cherokee County, the first one. I'm just going to copy that, go into Zillow, Cherokee County, North Carolina. 94 properties in the last 90 days. That's pretty good. Again, we're looking between 5,000 and 200,000. You're going to see more if like if I got rid of the 5,000, there's 102. Okay. Again, one to 20 acres. If I was looking for quarter acre and up, it would be different. All right. So write that down. What I tell people to do is like write down 15 to 20 counties. So if you click see more, write down the top 10, 20 counties and just go to Zillow and see which one has had more activity. So Cherokee County has 102. The next one is Clay County. Clay County has 56. Okay. The next one is Jackson County. Jackson County has 33. Next one is Ash County. Oh, I love that banner that comes down all the time. Ash County, 55. Okay, next one was Rutherford. 60. Oh. Okay, just one or two more, guys. Bear with me here. And then Macon County. I like Macon County. I've done several deals over there. Macon County, 159. Look at that. That's interesting, isn't it? If you were writing down my numbers like I told you to, um, Macon County is sixth on this list. But from what I just saw from Zillow, it's number one. They actually have the most solds. Macon County's got a lot of activity, don't, don't they? All right. Well, I want to show you another little trick here. A little hack. 
Um, so pay attention. And if you're watching this, um, I, I might do a replay. I might not, but it's on YouTube. So you can go look at it. Uh, I'm at list source and you can go into list source, get a free account and do different searches. I'm going to show you a quick and dirty way to see, all right, in the state of North Carolina, which one, which counties have the most activity. I'm going to go to create your own and geography. Let's go to state state. And for state, I want North Carolina. Now you can't do this for all states. There's some like Montana, South Carolina, Idaho, and Kansas, where you can't for whatever dumb reason, but you can't. All right. Property. Let's go to last mark or property type, property types, vacant right there. Vacant land. There's 500,000 vacant lots there. We want last market sale date, last three months, last market sale date, last three months. Bam. There you go. 7,300. And if we wanted to, you know, we could go into, um, well, that's it. We go here to options. We click on corporate owned, no preference. Oh, I remember what I was going to do. I was going to say lot area. We could say between one to 20 acres. That's going to drop it down quite a bit. All right. 2,600 in the state of North Carolina, vacant lots that have sold in the last 90 days. Now you may say, well, Joe, why is that more than what we see in, well, that's the entire state, but why is that more than what um, Landwatch is showing? Well, Landwatch only shows you the solds that have been marked as sold on their website. It doesn't show you from county records, all the solds. List source pulls the data from county records. All right. So now we've got 2,600 properties. Again, look at this state of North Carolina sold in the last 90 days between one to 20 acres, vacant land. And we went to options here and we said, corporate owned, no preference. Now we're going to pretend like we're purchasing this list. We click purchase list. And then we go to here to purchase partial list. And here we do custom selection. And then from here, you've seen me do this before with houses where you can click zip code. And in a county, you can see the most active zip codes that investors are buying ones. Homes. Well, now we're going to look at county. All right. Now, I'm, I don't have the time for this, but you can export this into a spreadsheet right now. And look at this. This tells you all the counties and where all the activity is happening. I don't know. There's 100 counties in North Carolina, okay? Macon County has got 129. Let's see. Oh, Johnston County. There we go. 138. Now, none of these numbers are going to be exactly the same. Brunswick County. Brunswick County wasn't even in this list here, was it? I don't see it, but it's like down at the bottom. So you just can't just trust, you know, what you see here. You need to be looking at multiple different places and kind of, there is no right answer magic formula. You can just plug this data in and get the best counties. But look at this. Brunswick County has a lot of activity. Buncombe, I butchered that name. Burke. Um, boom, here you go. Johnston County's got a lot of activity. And Macon County. Remember we talked about Macon County. They got a lot of activity there. So you can take this, click export. It'll email it to you as a spreadsheet, and then you can sort it to see which ones have the most activity. Or you could just write this down. I get a piece of paper and a pen. This still you, doesn't take that doesn't need any batteries. You don't have to be super smart or techie to do this. And just write down these counties and pick which ones are the best. And so, the reason I'm telling you this is why. Again, coming back to what we're talking about here, it's really really important that you pick the best counties where the most demand is. Okay. Now, um, let's just look at Macon County, for example, okay? Um, let's go back. We're going to create our own list now. I'm going to go right here to Macon County. I'm starting all over again. Now, I get my list from different places. Um, I mainly get my list from a website called Priced, and I'll show you that in a minute here, um, P-R-Y-C-D. Don't go there and buy it yet because if you use my link, you get a special, special deal. But Priced is one of the websites I go to. In fact, I think my website... If you're interested, it's joemccall.com, P-R-Y. joemccall.com slash priced will take you to my affiliate link and you get a special deal. I don't remember what it is, but you just want to do that. All right. But all we're doing here in list source, we're not, because if you go into list source, it's going to cost you like 13 to 18 cents to buy a record. Um, it's eight cents on priced. So you'll save like 10 cents per record. And when you're downloading 5,000 records, you know, that's going to save you a lot of money, 500 bucks if you do it with priced. Does that make sense? You paying attention? All right. 
But all we're doing here on list source is looking at a well, okay, and we've picked Macon County, right? I'm gonna go county, I'm gonna pick state, North Carolina, I'm gonna pick county, Macon. What am I doing here? I'm going to show you the best zip codes and the best subdivisions. We're even gonna go down into the subdivisions to see where all this activity is happening. This is the magic sauce. And I'm just scratching the surface. There's so many other things I do in my course. I teach you how to like really drill down. It's important you drill down into the demand. Where by the subdivisions are most people buying properties right now? Because that's where you want to go in. Okay. So in Macon County, there's 37,000 property records, but we're going to go click here to property. We want property type, property type, vacant land, bring that over. Boom. All right. There's 13,000 vacant lots there. And now we're going to go into last market sale date. I want boom last three months. All right. There's 158 so far. Let's do lot area. Let's do acres. Let's do one to 20. All right. Let's do one more thing here. Let's go to options and let's say no preference to corporate owned. All right, 129 in the last, this is just 90 days. If you want more, you can do the last six months. But that's a lot of activity, isn't it? Yes. All right, let's pretend like we're purchasing the list. And then we click here right here, purchase partial list. We go to custom selection, drop down. Now here we can kind of narrow this down even more. We could do census tract. I don't know what that is or FP. Oops, we don't want to do that. But let's go right here to zip code. All right, look at this. This tells me there's five zip codes in that county. Which acti which zip code has the most activity? 28734. I'm going to write that down. 28734. Oh, cool. Let's look at that. 28734. Let's bring it in here to Zillow. 28734. Holy smokes, there's a lot of yellows there. That's pretty cool. <laughs> so we're looking at properties. I've sold one to 20 acres in the last 90 days. See what we're doing here, guys? We've gone from the US to a state, to a county, to a zip code. And in my course, I even show you how to get even more granular down into the actual subdivisions. But this is just a taste of what you can get. Now, look, in 28734, my goodness, there's a lot of activity there, isn't there? All right, so we can go into sites like Priced, and I'm just gonna fly through this really fast. I just, I'm so excited about this. You could type in making county north carolina let's do a search between one to 20 acres one acre increments just going through this really fast i want to so now i'm pulling a list of people who own vacant land in that county and in that zip code so i want to exclude in county and i also want to do i mean making county i want to do that zip code right do 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 here we go zip code is Two eight seven three four, and I want to find people that have owned their land for at least five years. All right, so the last sale date was before twenty seventeen. Let's see what we get here. So I'm targeting. I want a list of just the people who own one to twenty acres of vacant land for over five years who don't live in that county. Holy smokies! Hot banana pants. Look at that. 2,861 owner records. I know it's really small. Can't see it. I flew through that really fast, but this is why I created my course so I could break it down and show it to you. There are 2,800. If that doesn't get you excited, like, I don't know what else will. Why? Because there's 2,800 people that own vacant land in that one zip code where there's a ton of activity. They've owned it for over five years. It's vacant. It's sitting out there. They haven't done anything with it. You can pull that list and you can send them real simple letters or you can skip trace them and text them and just say, hey, Jim, do you want to sell your 5.2 acre lot in X Macon County? Um, call me, call or text my 24 hour recorded voicemail. All right. Now, somebody's asking a good question here, Ed, can you, PropStream, can you pull land lists from PropStream? Yes, you can, but the reason I love, love, love priced is because it tells me what they're worth. It tells me, okay, look at this here. Let me go to um, 
for properties. What's a good example here? Okay, like this one right here. For properties that are between nine to 10 acres, they're worth about $8,900 an acre and you should offer 2,200 an acre. What? Yes. So what price does is it goes out and it scrapes all of the for sales and the solds. So if I, let's look at one of these. I'm going to do a search for, um, okay. So here is, um, let's do between two to three acres. There's 590 owner records and there's 370 comps. They pull the comps for you, which is crazy. I can click this right here and it shows, because comps are harder to get for vacant land than they are for houses. It's harder because there's just not as many of them. But here it shows you, all right, well, here's a property that was um, two acres that sold for three grand on Zillow. You can click on this link. It shows you the property here, okay? Um, and you can go, here's one from Redfin. This one was sold on Redfin. Um, you can get all kinds of information on there. Uh, let's look at another one, Lands of America. This one was a uh, 2.44 acres that was listed. Now that is listed for sale for 7,900. Here you go. Okay. And the other cool thing, I don't have the time to show this to you, but um, you can go in and put in an APN number on a specific property. These are beautiful lots, right? And it'll show you um, all of the similar properties nearby that have sold recently. This is why this right here, guys, is why I get so excited. This is why my teenage sons, this is exactly what my sons do. They go in and they look at these properties and look at what similar properties are for sale. And I'm going to show you in a minute how to make an offer on these things. But this is kind of where it starts. You look to see, all right, well, this is what similar properties are selling for. This is what similar properties are have sold. And this is why you get this data from um, uh, from price. Now, look, they have 42 pages of comps of properties from all kinds of different websites that they go out and scrape that are for sale or for sold. Here's one from realtor.com. That's currently for sale, 18,500, 2.3 acre, 2 acre lots. Okay. So bam, now you can go and, and you can export these comps into a spreadsheet right here. But let's go back here. So what I can do is I can say, all right, I want to pull all of these properties into a spreadsheet. And I'm going, you know, the market maybe is softening up a little bit. So I might move this down to 20% or it might be in a more expensive market. So I might move my offer price up to 40%. So you can adjust your offer price and then it adjusts. Okay, this is what it's about worth approximately. And they're, they're going to be plus or minus 15%, you know, and this is what you should offer. Come on, based on this percentage here, which is really, really beautiful. This is going to get you into the ballpark. And one of the letters that we send, sometimes we send, we usually send a neutral letter. We're starting to test now another letter that has a check that looks like a check that, sh that shows through the window envelope. Okay. Um, hold on one second here. Okay, never mind. Um, yeah, this is amazing. Like, this is absolutely amazing. So when you, you can do this in PropStream, somebody's asking, you can pull this, but it's not going to give you this data. And PropStream also doesn't give you the GPS coordinates and stuff like that. Um, you can also pull the list from, um, from list source. But I just wanted to show you, kind of, you see what I'm doing now? We're, we're following the demand. We're making a list of the most active counties in North Carolina. We're looking at for free, where's the activity in Zillow? Which county has the most sold? We're going into list source. We're doing this little thing here. We can see the most active zip codes. And then we go back here and look at 28734. Holy smokes, I'm getting excited about this. There's 115 properties that have sold in the last 90 days. And we go to priced and we can pull a list of 2,800 landowners. Now, what do we do with that list? Well, we send them a letter. And this is a letter that we send. It's a simple one page, neutral letter. Now, this is the important thing of this. And uh, my custom design built version of FreedomSoft, the Joe McCall signature edition of FreedomSoft, is just in the last 24 hours, they made some amazing improvements. And I wish I had time to share it with you. But like, it's, oh, it's just so exciting. All right. So we download this list. Every record in the list gets a letter reference ID. Do you see that? Every record gets a letter reference ID. And this letter says, hey, do you want to sell your 5.2 acre lot in county? Call us. And then it says right here, please call or text. I can't zoom anymore. Please call or text our 24-hour recorded voicemail. All right. This is why we do voicemail. This is so important. 
more people will call when it's a voicemail. Uh, if, you know, if you give them the website, they might go there, but you, you'll never hear from them. But if they call to listen to a voicemail, I'm going to capture their phone number. And so in FreedomSoft, with this custom edition FreedomSoft that I built for land investors, it's going to capture their phone number. And then you can text them back. The, on the outbound voicemail that we use, uh, let's see if I have it in here. Oh yeah, here it is. By the way, my students, we save about 30 to 40% on our direct mail. Um, you could use services like web, uh, you know, services like click to mail at 93 cents a letter. There's other places that are 85 cents a letter. Our students, we save them significant amounts of money through our vendors that we use. Okay. Um, now the voicemail, something like this. Hey, this is Mary. Thanks for calling land buyer company. If you're getting or you're if you're calling about a letter you received from us about your vacant lot in Park County, please leave your name and number at the tone along with the reference number, the reference ID from that letter, and we will send you an offer in the next day or two. Thanks. Oh, come on. That's it. So all it does is says, "Hey, thanks for calling. Leave your name and number and that reference ID." And then what happens? Once or twice a week, my sons listen to all the voicemails that come in, find that letter reference ID, and then we also, FreedomSoft sends them a text responder back right away. It says, hey, thanks for calling. Sorry, we missed you. What is your email? Oh, it's, what's the reference ID? Okay. So about half the time, the sellers will leave a voicemail. The other half of the time, they'll just send a text with that letter reference ID. We say, hey, great. Thanks. We're going to send you an offer. Now, we don't have to, like we, once or twice a week, we sit down and send all the offers. You, it's not like houses where you've got to be like on it and drop everything you're doing to call the seller back and leave a voicemail. I mean, to send them an offer and all of that. Okay. Rodney, yes, it's easy to export these records. And then you're going to export them from sites like Price, and then you're going to import them into uh, FreedomSoft. Now, by the way, guys, pay attention to this. Those of you that have been using FreedomSoft, um, first of all, my VAs will help you get this the first time. We'll help you do your first direct mail campaign. But FreedomSoft just made this change where you can download your list, you upload it to FreedomSoft, okay? And pay attention, this is so cool. Um, you don't have to put it like before when you got a lead, you had to go look at a spreadsheet and then look at FreedomSoft and copy and paste all the information over. FreedomSoft just made the change where it will automate, you, you upload that list into FreedomSoft. When you get a lead, you can go find that one and it brings over all the data and information. Come on, yeah. Well, those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, like that's a big deal. It's really awesome. All right, so then after they send us their reference ID, we say, great, thanks. What's your email address? We'll email you the offer, okay? Roberto, Robertino gets it. He says, yes, exclamation point. Okay, um, now, why do we want their email address? Follow-up, guys. Follow-up is so important. Most of your deals come from the follow-up. So you need to send, like half of our deals come from the follow-up. Um, so it's like we send an offer every 30 days to them. And we follow up by email, by text, and voicemail and physical mail. Why do we do so many deals? Why do we get one out of every 20 to 25 offers accepted? Because we follow up and nobody else is doing this and I don't get it. It's like, are you crazy? This is why I don't like sending blind offers. A lot of people who teach land and there's a lot of them out there, they send just blind offers and they send a thousand offers and hope that one sticks. I wanna send neutral letters because I want as many calls as possible so I can do as much follow-up as possible. So, because that, the deals come from the follow-up. So we follow up with email, text, voicemail, physical mail. All right. And we can do that all inside of FreedomSoft, except for voicemail. You have to use, um, we use slide dial for that. Oh yeah. Okay. Now the leads come in. We are going to send them an offer. Let me show you real quick how to um, calculate an offer. Okay. Let's say, you know, maybe we can pull up one of these deals here. Well, let's just look at that one zip code we were in. Um, what zip code was that? Here it is. Uh, 28734, 28734. Let's look at, um, there's a lot of activity right here in this area. Let's go in here. All right. Nice. There's 34. I mean, there's a lot of going on here. What does this area look like too, by the way? There's a little small towns, hills. Okay. Let's say you've got a 
one and a half acre property in this area that the seller got your letter. Interesting, lead rain, I'll look at that. But when it comes to voicemails, guys, I don't do the blast, voicemail blast, ring this voicemail. I do individual one at a time. So it's, hey, Mary, my son does this. Mary, hi, this is Judah with Dream Big Land. I just want to let you know, we just sent you an offer in the mail. Just following up to want to make sure you got it. Please call us if you have any questions. All right, so let's say we get, an, uh, we, we get a letter. They respond back with a voicemail and say, yeah, I want to sell my um, 2.8 acre lot. And my reference ID from the letter is Jack-2456, 2456. So we look it up. We find out exactly where it is. We zoom into Zillow. Now, price may say you should offer uh, 3,500. All right, so we write that down. Price says to offer 3,500. And we look here and let's look at actives first. Oh, not a lot of actives there. So let's zoom out a little bit. We got some there. There's 12,000, 16,000. Zoom out one more time. Let's remove boundary. All right, so in this area, there's 10 listings, agent listings, and 10 for sale by owner listings. All right, so you always have to look at the agent and the owner listings. And we could also look at Lands of America and other websites. But I want to make sure, this is important to understand, you want to make sure you're the cheapest property. When you want to sell yours, you want to make sure you're cheapest, you're cheaper than everybody else because you want to sell yours first. And so th this is so complicated. Are you ready for this? I'm looking at this thinking, all right, well, the cheapest property here is 12 grand. It's 1.38 acres for 12 grand. I want to sell mine for 10. All right. So I go my, get my $1,300, $1,400 calculator. And if you count in the monthly cost, it's like what? On average, maybe $2,000, my $2,000 calculator here. I want to sell it for 10,000 bucks, right? So I'm going to take 10,000 divided by four, 2,500 bucks. I'm going to offer $2,500. Well, you may be saying, Joe, that's ridiculous. Who would ever accept such a ridiculous low offer? Well, I don't know. One out of every 20 or 30 sellers that we send them to do. It's just the way it is. So if I offered 2,500, looking at these active listings here, you think I could sell it pretty quickly for 10? Yeah. I just want, you know what? I might even be able to sell it for 15, especially if I do owner financing. Hmm. There you go. You can sell it for more if you do owner financing. So I'm going to offer 2,500. And am I going to get some angry calls? Yep. That's the way it is. If you haven't made somebody mad by 12 o'clock, you're not marketing hard enough. You're not doing enough marketing. So, all right, there you go. That's how I make my offers. I figure out what I could sell it for. And I multiply that by 25%. Any questions about that? Now, here's a good question. Somebody's asking, well, could I offer more? If you're selling it with owner financing, sure you can, if you want, you know, go ahead. Sometimes it's like where I start and if they are interested, but they want, you know, they want to know if they have some wiggle room on it. I might bump it up. I might maybe do 4,000, but that's it. Now, remember price said to offer 3,500. I wrote that down. Price said to offer 3,500, but I'm looking at Zillow here. I'm going to offer 2,500. Letters. Somebody's asking postcards or letters. CW, I like letters. They have better response rates. All right, so that's it. Now, what do I sell them or what do I send them? And by the way, I send this offer to them all inside of FreedomSoft. We send it by text, email, and in the physical mail. Literally, you click some buttons in my custom edition built FreedomSoft. It's all done in the CRM. This is what the letter looks like. It's real simple. I, I don't know. It's just better. I'm answering questions from CW. All right, let me zoom in here. There's a cover letter. Just bam, I want to buy your property or here's the, thanks for calling. Uh, attaches the contract. You can sign it, take a picture of it with your phone, text it to this number. You can email it to this email or you can mail it to us here. Most people do option one. They just take a picture of it with their phone and send it to us. And then we send that to the um, title company. All right, now look at this. This is our one page contract. One page contract. Is there anything on here for earnest money deposit? No, nope. proof of funds, no. Nope. Oh, look at this. Closing will be within 90 days. Hot diggity dog. Closing can even be extended an additional 30 days if we're still performing due diligence. And the seller agrees that they can market the property. The buyer can market the property. Buyer retains the right to terminate this agreement by delivering to the seller a written notice of cancellation. 
it doesn't get much easier than this, right? If I can't find a buyer in three to four months, I cancel my agreement with the seller. Now, there comes a time to you. I mean, you can't just you can't just make stupid offers, drag the whole thing out for four months and then cancel on the seller. I don't recommend, I don't like doing that. You shouldn't do that. You should know within four to six weeks whether you've got a good deal or not. If you're not getting any calls, I'm trying to sell this thing for 15 grand. I'm not getting any calls. Then something is wrong. It could be maybe my property's on the side of a hill. It's really hard to get to. So that I'm going to go back to the seller and say, listen, this isn't going to work out. I'm not getting any interest. And uh, so I'm going to have to either cancel this agreement or can you go any lower? All right. Looking at solds here as well. Maybe for solds, let's look in the last six months. Six months solds. Oh, you know what? Um, I forgot when you're looking at actives, guys, when you're looking at actives for sales, you want to make sure under more, you say, show me all of the ones on Zillow. That's why there weren't that many. Okay, now I got 24 agent listings and 12 uh, for sale by owner. So again, when you're looking at solds, you can do 90 days or less. But when you're looking at for sales, you have to make sure you turn that days on Zillow to any. Otherwise, it's only going to show you the ones that have been for sale for 90 days or less. I want the ones that have been for sale for 263 days to show up on here. And if I have too many, I might zoom in. All right. So now I can see it's sorted from low to high. All right. So are we good? Are you picking up what I'm laying down? All right. Woo, I love it. So we're going to send this offer. Now we create this offer with a few clicks. Click, 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 click. It's sent. Let me show you just an example of how that worked with one of our deals. Oh, you know what? Shoot. I can't show you too many details here because YouTube keeps on de deleting my videos um, because when you're showing deals, you have to blur out the owner's names and their contact information or else um, um, YouTube will shut your video off. So I can't show you, but let me just say this. You go into FreedomSoft, you get a lead. Oh, you know what? Maybe we'll do one another time where I'll set up a campaign and you can call and listen to voicemail and then I can look it up and send you a, send you an offer. But like, um, again, my teenagers can do this. All right. You got the incoming leads, your due diligence real quick. Once the seller signs your contract, you don't sign it until after you do the due diligence. And this is when you decide, do I want to buy it? Do I think I could quickly sell it? So here are the main things you look for. You look for access. Is there road access? What's the terrain like? Is it in a floodplain? Are there taxes owed? Who's on title? Looking at comps. You want to make sure you're looking at actives and solds. You can do look for free on Zillow, Redfin, Price. Do you want to know, are there any utilities? And what are the HOAs like? Are they really restrictive? Are there a lot of properties in the for sale that are for sale in the area and very few solds? So those little things, a lot of my, my virtual assistants just do that research for me and then tell me what I should do. There's a tool we use a lot called MapRite. You should check that out. All right. Then we advertise the property. We advertise it on Facebook, Craigslist, Zillow. We use different land websites like land.com, landflip.com, landmoto, a lot of the websites. And um, there's also neighbor letters. These work really, really well where you can, we have these tools that you can quickly download a list of everybody that owns a property that touches yours and other investors that have, or buyers that have purchased properties um, in the last six months in the same zip code or the same area as your property. And you can send them a letter really, really quickly. Okay. Boom. We double close or assign these deals. Sometimes, you know, we use a nationwide title company that closes all of our deals. And um, um, I'm sorry, I'm looking at the chat. I got to stop because I'm getting distracted. Uh, so sometimes we double close. Sometimes we assign. A lot of times we just use private money or we use funding companies or we use our own profits to, we just go ahead and close on the deal and then we turn around and we sell them. Normally it takes us um, probably one to three months to sell our deals. Okay. The company we use is not Alliance. It's called a close line. All right. So look, you might think you might want to say or ask, Hey, Joe, this all sounds great. Is it really that easy to make $10,000 in 10 hours? This is when I do my normal webinar, this is what I call it. I call it 10 K in 10 hours. Can you really make $10,000 a month and just work in 10 hours a week? Is it really that easy? Well, no, it's not. It's really not that easy. And here are six roadblocks that you're going to run across. If you don't do this right, you got to make sure you select the right counties. If you pick the wrong counties, guys, you're going to be wasting a ton of money on marketing and no one's going to respond. 
If you pick the right counties, you're going to get more leads. You're going to close more deals. So it's really, really important you pick the right counties or else you're going to be in too competitive of an area or not a good area and you're not going to be able to sell your deals. You got to make sure you've got the money to buy the deals as well. Because if you don't have the money to buy them, um, then you are going to um, lose out on good deals. Someone else is going to get your deals. You're going to be wasting all that money on marketing and you've got to move fast when you find a good deal, right? Now, the tech stuff. That can be another challenge as well. Like I think it's easy because I do it every day. We use FreedomSoft. I love FreedomSoft. It's amazing. I've custom designed it and built it called the Joe McCall Signature Edition for vacant land, which by the way, the guy who owns FreedomSoft, he's been doing land deals with his daughter and uh, using our system. There's another investor. Um, oh, who was this? Oh, I should know this. I feel bad. There's another investor that is doing deals. Oh yeah, Cameron, a guy named Cameron Dunlap. Um, he's been doing land with his daughter uh, using my system. Um, and then, uh, in fact, I don't know if any of you know Russell Brunson. He's a big internet marketing guy. And uh, I was at SeaWorld with him and his family and about a hundred other people. Um, and we were on this uh, big roller coaster ride, right? And uh, he was telling his sons, hey, hey, so-and-so, uh, there's Joe McCall. He's the guy who's got the land course and I want you guys to do land. And they weren't like, what, what are you talking about, dad? <laughs> so, but yeah, he wants his sons to do my, my stuff. And I don't know if they will or not, but like, so the tech stuff though, right? The tech stuff. Well, if you don't have the right tools, guys, you're going to get frustrated. You're going to be wasting a ton of money and time on tools that you don't know how to use. You're not going to look like you know what you're doing. It's going to be hard to sell your deals. But when you get it right, when you get the tools right, you'll be working 10 hours a week, just overviewing and overseeing everything. Um, you only spend a few minutes analyzing a deal. You click a few buttons, it sends the offers for you and it does the follow-up for you. So nothing falls through the cracks. You've got to make sure you get the tech stuff set up right. Now, can you use pen and paper? Yeah, but it's a lot harder. I was talking to my brother yesterday and uh, if he's here, hi, Ben, love you. Um, but he was like, he's getting a little overwhelmed with some of the tech stuff. I said, Ben, just write a bunch of blank contracts. And just fill in the blanks and stick them in an envelope and send it. Like you don't have to complicate it. But here, guys, you got to make sure you get this right and you understand what to do. If you're tech savvy or if you're not, you got to also make sure you pick the right list of sellers and you send the right letters. You got to make sure that this is trips up a lot of people too, which I, I get so frustrated with because it's like, guys, it's easy. Do this and this and this. But sometimes it's overwhelming. And I totally get it because you're looking at all these things you got to do even though I call my course simple land flips, it's like, Joe, it's not that simple. Like it's simple for you because you've been doing it for years. Like, but I'm, this is all new to me. And you're like a deer in a headlights. You've got all of these videos and courses and like, what do I do next? What do I do? Well, this is why it's important that you just focus on the simple, simple things. That's what I talk about in the course. Right. But like, you've got to hit the ground running fast or you're going to lose momentum. So you need to stop wasting time. Like, am I going to pull the right list? Or what did Joe say to do here? I got to click this and then click that. And then, oh my gosh, and I got to watch the video again. No, okay. That's a big roadblock for a lot of people. We need to simplify it and make it easier so you're not wasting time. The other thing is, um, you got to make sure you have the right entities and the right LLCs because now you're doing vacant land in other states. And it's important you set it up right. You don't, you should never be doing land deals in your house LLC. If you have an LLC for houses or for maybe some of your other businesses, maybe you don't have an LLC, you need to make sure you get it set up right because you're going to be doing deals in multiple states. The other thing is you got to have a right mentor. You got to have somebody that can answer your questions when you're stuck and help remove the overwhelm. You need to have somebody in your corner who's got your best interests at heart and who understands you. And don't outsource the coaching to some guy who has a sales floor in Utah, okay? Uh, you want to outsource your coaching to somebody. You want to get help from somebody who's actually doing the business, who's doing real deals, all right? So now I'm going to talk here. If I have, can I have your permission to talk about my course for just a minute? Remember I told you at the beginning, if you guys are still here, oh, a lot of you guys are still here. It's awesome. Over 90% of you are still here. Can I have your permission to talk about my course? Remember I said, it's like $5,000 on my website. You can go there, joemccall.com and see it. Don't do it, but you can see it. You can buy it there for five grand right now. I'm going to give you an incredible deal. And in fact, if you stick around, I'm actually going to give it to you for free. Who's interested? Type in yes. Can I, can I share it with you right now?
All right. I'm going to open up my slides here. And I'm going to, I'm going to go through this kind of fast because I want to wrap this up. Um, let me hit the play button here. Okay. I'm going to share my screen. Sorry, guys. Hold on here. Share screen. Boom. All right. So this is my stuff. Now I'm going to move. I got a bunch of slides here. Um, okay. Is this for you? Is this for you? Well, I hope so. But listen. This is for you, whether you're a beginner or an experienced investor and you're looking for deals with a lot less competition. By the way, uh, thank you for all the yeses. I, I've got, I don't know, over a hundred yeses here. Please talk about this. So thank you very much. I appreciate it, okay? Um, so whether you're an experienced or beginning investor and you're looking for deals with a lot less competition, this is for you. If you're looking for deals where you don't have to spend a ton of money on marketing, this is for you guys. You can get started doing this you know, for, I don't know, 500,000 bucks a month on marketing to do one or two deals a month. Um, if you're interested in learning a new strategy for doing deals without talking to sellers, if you're looking for nice, consistent cash flow, like real cash flow without the landlord headaches, if you're looking for, you know, you've been trying wholesaling, you've been trying other strategies, it's just not working out for you. Let me move this thing here. There we go. Okay, cool. It's just not maybe working out for you and you want something that's easier to do. Uh, you want to do more deals and you're tired of wasting and spending so much money on marketing that's just not working like it used to. And you want a surefire way to make 10 grand in 10 hours a week. Here we go. This program is specifically for you. And this is how my program works. It's a simple six module implementation program. I'm all about implementation over instruction. I'm not just going to teach you. I'm actually going to do it and we're going to implement it together. The first course, like the introduction section that you get, it's actually me recording videos. I got up, we were in Vail, Colorado, skiing on a vacation. I don't know why I was working, but like I get up at 5 a.m. before everybody else. And I just did these. We were actually, I documented this whole process. It took about nine days where I picked a market. I pulled the list. I sent the letters, I got the leads and I sent the offers and we did some deals. And I documented that whole process in the um, introduction module. So it's an implementation module pro program where you're gonna be like looking over my shoulder as I do this. So by the time that you're done going through the class, you're gonna have a complete land flipping business set up with you and for you. Oh yeah. So let's talk about this. I'm gonna help you set up your land investing business step by step. And the videos I'm going to be creating for you are recordings of my computer screen where you're actually looking over my shoulder and I'm walking you through how to do all of this. You can give these videos to your kids. You can give them to your virtual assistants. You can give them to your spouse, whoever, like so usually, you know, your spouse is good at one thing and you're good at another thing, or your kids are good at one thing and you know, whatever. Um, so together, we're going to start at the very beginning and go through the entire process. My modules are really, really simple. I have a fast start guide. I'm going to show you how to pick the right markets, setting up your systems, making offers, doing due diligence and research, and then selling the deals. Um, very, very simple. Let me move on here. Um, ba -ba 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 -bum. All right. Now, you're watching this webinar right now. You've seen these case studies. I've shown you these things. They work like crazy. Show you how to find the deals, right? I, show you, I show, showed you the letter, how to pull the list. How to, what letter to send, how to make the offers. I even showed you the contract that we use. Like you could actually get out there and start doing this. And by now I'm sure it's abundantly clear that this investing in it and joining the Simple Land Flips program might be one of the best decisions you've ever made. So if you're ready to start doing deals now and start making some money, we're gonna talk about how to get started. By the time you've completed the program, you're gonna have a fully functional land flipping business making you money without the overwhelm. You're going to be getting a ton of motivated seller leads. You're going to be making simple, fast offers. And you're going to have most of this business outsourced and automated. Or guys, you can just bring me your land deals and we'll buy them from you. This is one of the reasons why I created this course is because we buy deals from students. We lend money on students. We partner on deals on students and stuff like that. So like I already told you, my program costs $5,000 on my website. And if that sounds expensive, it is. 
But keep this in mind, the way that you're doing deals now, where you're wasting all this money on marketing that's not working like it used to anymore, while you've got your 40, 50 hour a week job and you're fighting tons of competition for houses and you're wasting all the time on the phone chasing sellers when they should be chasing you. And you could be making five to 10 grand on each land flip. That's costing you at least one or two deals or 10 grand a month. If you just did one land deal a month, you could be making anywhere from five to 10 grand, depending on how many offers and depending on how actively seriously you are about this, right? And if you wanted one-on-one coaching from me, I charge $50,000. So if you bought my course that showed you how to make 10 grand, would five grand be worth it? Of course, right? You should be able to do one vacant land deal a month. But if all you did was one in an entire year, it would still cover the investment in the system, right? So, but the fact that you're still here watching this and there's a ton of you still on means that you're actually serious about the success of your business. So here's what I'm going to do. One of the biggest thrills in my life is getting emails and Facebook posts from students like you who've gone through my courses and you've used it to change their life. So if you're willing to invest in yourself today, I'm willing to invest in you. And I'm going to actually take a $2,500 out of my pocket and I'm going to invest that into you and into your future success with Simple Land Flips. So right now during this webinar, um, for the next few minutes here, and when I give you this page, you're going to see a timer on there. Um, I'm not sure when it expires, but I'm going to give you this $2,500 discount. And I'm going to reduce the price from $49.97 to $24.97 or three payments of $9.97. Now to put that into perspective, you just saw me demonstrate how you can make 11 grand, 12 grand on one simple deal on a vacant lot in the middle of nowhere, Florida, while I'm on vacation in Colorado. You saw me teach my two teenage sons and what I taught them. We made over $150,000 in profits doing these land deals very, very part-time. So would you invest $2,497 in that ability to do the same thing? I hope so. But with that being said, there's a small catch. That discount is only guaranteed for the next few minutes when I go to this website, go to this website I'm going to give to you. Um, why deadlines? Well, because decisiveness is a trait shared by all successful entrepreneurs. Simply put, guys, you cannot drive a parked car and you cannot build a business while sitting on a fence. So I want to help you right now get off the fence and decide to change your future forever. Now, in addition to this $2,500 discount, I want to make this a completely safe decision for you without any risk whatsoever. I'm going to make this a complete, let me repeat that. I'm going to make this a completely safe decision for you and I'm going to prove it to you and I'm going to take away all the risk. So I'm going to give you a two-part unprecedented guarantee that's unheard of in the industry. Number one, follow along for the first 30 days. If it's not a fit for you for any reason, just contact my support team. Send an email to support at joemccall.com, support at joemccall.com, and we'll get on the phone. If we can't help you, then we'll refund 100% of your money. I don't care if it's day 29, hour 23, minute 59, second 59. If you send an email to support at joemccall.com and we can't help you fix whatever problem or struggle you're having, we'll refund your money. That's it. But here's where things get really, really interesting, okay? Believe it or not, guys, my goal here isn't to sell you some training program, and I'm going to prove that to you right now. I want to do more land deals, right? But my ultimate goal is to turn you into a successful real estate investor that can make a ton more money doing deals, to help you quit your job and find financial freedom. I want to increase your cash flow and decrease your overwhelm, and I want to create an incredible new source of income and purpose in your life. So while I'm going to take you by the hand and I'm going to show you exactly what to do in the Simple Land Flips course, in order for you to reach your goals, guys, you must take action. You've got to take action. And I'm point at this point, I'm confident, guys, you're ready to get started, that you're serious about learning the skill set, and that you're ready to take action or else you still wouldn't be here. So I'm going to put my money where my mouth is, and I'm going to offer you a completion challenge. This is so crazy. This is so much fun. I love doing this, right? Nobody else is doing this. I promise you. Like, I'm not saying you have to do a deal to complete the completion challenge. You just need to complete the course. Oh, pay attention here. If you follow along the program and set up the marketing and the systems that you're going to need for simple land flips business, just like I'm going to show you how to do click by click, once your land investing business is set up, you've gone through the program and you've made at least 25 offers. That's it. If you can make 25 written offers, does that mean you have to talk to 25 sellers? No, just send 25 offers at any time over the next six months. Show me what you've done. Let my team know. Send an email to support at joemccall.com and give us a little testimonial, I will send you a check back for the entire cost of my program, guys. In other words, I'm going to pay you 
to finish the program and change your life forever. Guys, some of you, I get it. You've got a spouse who's like, don't you dare buy another course, <laughs> okay? But if you ever bought a course where the guy said, hey, or lady, if you just finish the program, I will refund your money. No. Why would I do that, guys? I'm going to pay you to finish the program and change your life, but you've only got a few minutes, a few hours. I'm not sure what it is in this website. I'm going to give you in a minute where there'll be a timer there. And you might be watching this later as a replay or I'm not, no. But when you go to this link, there's going to be a deadline timer where this is going to be gone. I've never seen anyone else willing to do this. So why am I doing this? Real simple. Number one, I want to reward people who take action. And I know that if you finish the course, I'll have made such a massive impact on your life, on your business, that you're going to be a raving fan of mine and a customer for life. In the future, you might sign up for maybe coaching or other things that I might sell or software or marketing services or coaching, whatever, right? So I'm just looking for reviews, positive, friendly, happy customers. And I know that if you take action, you're going to have success. And so from my point of view, it's an investment in my most important valuable asset, which are you guys, my customers, podcast listeners, YouTube watchers, email subscribers, my customers, right? It's an investment in you. Plus, I'm hoping that we can do some deals together. I want to lend you money on some of your deals. Maybe you might lend me some money on some of my deals. Maybe we'll partner on deals. So that means literally, guys, there's no way you can lose here. At a bare minimum, you got 30 days to go through the program, money back guarantee, no questions asked, risk-free. Go through the course and it might take you a couple, three months. I don't know. You don't even have to do a deal. Just go through the course, make 25 land offers. And even if none of them get accepted, just following the steps in the program, and I'm going to send you 100% of your money back or just send me your land deals and we'll partner with you on them. But you're like, Joe, okay, that sounds exciting. What do I need to do again to complete the setup challenge? Right? Well, you go through the modules, set up the systems like I'm going to show you how to do. Report on your numbers every week. So we have a Facebook group. I want you to participate and show, hey, listen, uh, I've just finished module two and I'm just now starting to send my mail. And uh, we, we want, like we, we're a community and we want to hold each other accountable and we're going to encourage you and say, yes, rock on. That's awesome. You've got this. If you've got questions, we can help you. And then at the end, within six months, we want you to show us that you've made 25 written offers and then give us a video testimonial and we will refund your money. Now, some of you are like, Joe, I don't believe you. Well, guess what, guys? I've got proof. I've got so much proof here. It's not even funny. Check this out. I got so many pictures here of people that have refunded, gotten refunds for my programs. I have refunded over $200,000 in course completion challenge refunds that I've been doing this for the last few years from people that all they did was go through my program, complete it, implement it. They may not have done a deal. They may not, but guess what guys, these are people from all walks of life. I'm showing you all these pictures to show you that you have no more excuses. All you have to do is implement the program and you will get your money back. People from all walks of life, young and old, skinny and fat minorities and whites, and who knows what else, like all people, all races can do this. There is no more excuse you get your money back when you complete the program. Nobody else does this. And none of these pictures are from Fiverr. I promise you that. There's some of you that are on this webinar that you've gotten my pictures. You've gotten my refund checks, okay? Some of you guys I've done deals with. I've partnered with you on. It's just like, this is why I do this. I get so excited about rewarding people who take action. All right. I'm not in this to sell courses. I do make money selling programs and stuff like that, guys, but I get a bigger, awesome, more better reward when I can help you do deals, accomplish freedom. Some guys don't even ask for a refund because they got so much value out of the program. They already got their money back 10 times over on their first deal or whatever. Right. So like uh, some people don't even ask for the refund, but I do this because my philosophy is really simple. If you, if I can't make you money, then I don't deserve yours. That's the way I go. That's the way I roll, baby. If I can't make you money, then I don't deserve yours. But don't make that decision today. Just try it out, guys. Worst case, put it on a credit card, make that decision in 30 days. You either complete the course and get all your money back. You don't even have to do a deal, guys. Just make some offers 
or go through the course in a few days. And if you don't like it for any reason, just let us know. Send an email to support at joemccall.com. And here's the other thing, guys. Put it on a credit card, but PayPal pay for it. Test it out for six months and let me pay your PayPal bill. If you apply and qualify for PayPal credit, you get six months. No interest, low interest, small payments, no payments. I don't know what it is, but on the checkout page, I'm going to give you here in a minute. You can let PayPal pay for it. Maybe you've got a business card, credit card. Maybe you've got some friends, a spouse or something like that. Listen, I don't believe in going into debt like for things like this, but sometimes it's necessary. And I'm guaranteeing your success, guys. I'm guaranteeing your success. All you got to do is go through the program, joemccall.com slash land. Go through the program, implement it. All right. And you will start saying, and if, even if you don't do deals, if you just implement it, I will refund your money. JoeMcCall.com slash land. Now, remember those five roadblocks we talked about, right? You've got to select the right counties. You got to set up all the tech stuff, right? You got to get all the money to buy the deals. You got to make sure you're picking the right sellers, pulling the right list, and you're sending the right letters and everything is working. The phone number is there. The letter reference ID is there. The voicemail is set up. It's all coming into FreedomSoft correctly. You've got the right LLCs. And you got to make sure you've got a mentor, right? Well, listen, selecting the right counties, that's a big, big roadblock. But this is where things get exciting. If you're on the fence, you're like, oh man, I don't know if I can do this. For everyone who signs up on this webinar right now, you can schedule a one-on-one -on -one call with me. What, what'd you say, Joe? Who, what, me? Yeah, guys, I don't outsource my coaching to some third-party sales floor, all right? You get me, you get yours truly. If you go through the first three or four modules, and you pick the counties and you want me to review them. I love doing these calls. They only take 15, 20 minutes. I'll review your counties and answer any questions that you've got. All you got to do is contact my team and they'll schedule a call, right? So if you go through the webinar, I mean, if you sign up and you have to sign up on this webinar here in the link, the joemccall.com slash land, okay? Go through the first three or four modules, select your counties, schedule a call with my team. We'll get on the phone and I'll review them and answer any of all of your questions. All right. I love doing those. Those are great calls. The second roadblock is setting up all the tech stuff. It can be overwhelming. It can be confusing. And just like, I've never seen this before. And I got to learn something new. I've already got a full-time job, blah, 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 blah. My team, everyone who signs up. Um, oh, here we go. I went the wrong way. Sorry. My team will set up everything for you inside of FreedomSoft. We'll set up your voicemails, your land website. We're going to give you a website. We'll do your direct mail campaigns and automation to all be set up. And we're going to give you a virtual phone number for your first direct mail campaign so that the calls when they come in will go into the right place in FreedomSoft. And my VA is going to set this up for you, my virtual assistant, and you're going to get their email address. So you can email them anytime for the next 12 months for tech support. You can also email FreedomSoft support. FreedomSoft's amazing, okay? So we're going to set up the tech stuff for you. The third roadblock is getting the money. I've already talked about this. We have funding companies that we work with that will fund the deals, the right deals. I have friends that will do transactional funding. We have students in our Facebook group that will lend on deals. And I'm going to teach you that I actually have a module in the course on how to raise $500,000 in private money in 30 days or less. So don't worry about the money. We've got you covered. The fourth roadblock is picking the right sellers, making sure you get the right list. You're sending the right letters and it's all merging correctly. And it's going to the right voicemail and FreedomSoft, the right campaigns, the letter references ID are all right. You got to get that right or else you could lose a thousand bucks sending some letters, right? Well, we're going to do your first direct mail campaign for you. You just set the budget, you pay for it and tell us how much to spend and we'll do it. So you may say, all right, Joe, um, team, I want to send 500 letters a week, or I want to send 200 letters a week or whatever. We will do your first campaign for you. And we have vendors that will save you tons of money. That'll save you 30, 40% on your land, on your mail. Guys, just the savings that you're going to get on the tools and resources that we use will more than pay for the entire program. But we're going to do your first direct mail campaign for you. Remember I talked about setting up the right LLCs for land deals. Our legal team that we work with will help you set up your first LLC for free. Now, you still, it's not entirely free. You still have to pay the state filing fees. So I want to make sure you understand that. Um, this is important, especially if you're doing deals in multiple states that you set it up right. So again, they're not going to give you, it's com not completely free, but they will help you set up your first LLC for free, but you still have to pay the state filing fees. Does that make sense? Almost every week I get a call from these guys. I don't really can't like they have to pay the state filing fees. Let's make sure. So you got to understand that. But we have a team that will work with you and help you set up all of your legal entities the right way. Okay. 
Um, and yeah, Robert, Robertino, they can help you with that. Okay. Um, and this was especially good if you're doing deals in multiple states. All right. The sixth roadblock is not having the right mentor. All right. This is where co things get really cool. I am involved. I do weekly group coaching calls. And if you miss a call, you can submit your questions in advance. All of the calls are recorded. We also have a private Facebook group where you can go in and answer questions, get questions answered. I network and partner with other people. And we give you 12 months of email support. And um, don't forget too, everyone who on this webinar gets to schedule a one-on-one -on -one call with me. So again, joemccall.com slash land, joemccall.com slash land. I'm going to give to you guys one more summary page here that shows you the dealio. All right, here it is for just $24.97 or three payments of $9.97. And I'm going to give you your money back when you complete the program. Nobody else does this. I checked. Nobody, guys. Now you're going to get the six module class. Look over my shoulder and get everything taught. Uh, you're going to learn everything you need to do. My modules too, guys, are just an hour, an hour and a half long each week. That's it. It's not like tons and tons of videos. Um, I'm going to give you a $2,500 massive discount from my website. Um, you get the six month completion challenge. You go through the course and within six months, complete it, set up your systems, make at least 25 offers and get your investment back. Free bonuses. The you get to schedule a one-on-one -on -one call with me to review the counties. After you've gone through the first three or four modules of the program, you can schedule a one-on-one -on -one call with me. Um, we'll also do your first marketing campaign for you. We'll pull the list for you. We'll send the letters for you. This way, guys, you don't have to worry about getting it all set up because we're also going to set up your Freedom Soft for you. Um, so you can get hit the ground running. You just say, all right, I'm ready to go. Let's go, let's go. And we will send your first letters for you. We'll pull the list for you and send the letters for you. We have all the money that you need to buy your land deals. We have funding companies. We lend money sometimes on deals. Other people in our group lend monies. And if we don't lend you money on a deal, it means it's a bad deal and you shouldn't be buying it anyway. So it's kind of like you can act, we can act as your filter. We do weekly group coaching calls and we have a private Facebook group. We're going to give you, we're going to set up your freedom soft for you. And I haven't even mentioned this yet. What? We're going to give you three months of freedom soft for free. Freedom soft is $197 a month. It's the best money you would ever spend in your real estate business. I do, I don't know, 99% of everything inside of freedom soft. It's absolutely indispensable, okay? Um, so we're going to give you three months for free. The way that works is we will reimburse you. You pay the first three months, then we'll reimburse you. You give us your receipts. And uh, we're also going to give you a free LLC. You still have to pay the state filing fees. And that could be, that could depending on the state, it could be a couple hundred bucks. I don't know, but it's a lot cheaper than you could do it on your own. And we're going to give you the operating agreement and the, you know help you get the uh, federal tax ID. And then if you're doing deals in multiple states, they're going to show you the best ways to do that. Okay, cool. I mean, is this insane or what? JoeMcCall.com slash land. If you go to that website, there'll be a countdown timer there. Um, I, I'm not sure what's going on here. We might do a replay or two, um, but there's this. we are going to shut this down soon. All right. Any questions? Let me review this one more time. I want to make sure it's abundantly super duper clear what you're getting at JoeMcCall.com slash land. For $24.97, remember I sell it on my website for five grand or three payments at 997 if you need some time splitting it up. And you can get go to PayPal, you can let pay on the checkout page, you can click the PayPal button and apply for PayPal financing and let PayPal pay for it. And then let me pay your PayPal bill. Borrow some money from your I don't know who and let me pay them back. After all you got to do is go through the program and complete it. Make 25 written offers. So you're going to get the 6 module course. You get the big $2500 massive discount. Six month completion challenge. You schedule a one on one call with me after the third or fourth module and you've picked your counties. We will do your first campaign for you. We have all the money you need for your deals. Uh, we do weekly group calls, a private Facebook group. We will set up Freedom Soft for you and give you three months for free and you get a free LLC. Boom. Uh, how long do you get access to the course? For as long as forever. But, you know, not forever because I'm not, this course isn't be up forever. But like, you, you, you get it for a super long time, as long as it's up and as long as I'm alive, but I'm not, <laughs> I don't know. I, yeah. Does that make sense? Q? I hope I got your question answered there. Okay, good. I'm going to answer some questions here as we go through this. And I want to make sure if you, any of you guys are on the fence, I want you to type it in the chat right now, or if you're watching on Facebook or YouTube, type it in the, uh, in the chat, because there, I, I, there is absolutely no reason why you shouldn't do this. Absolutely none. I'm taking away all the risk. You got 30 day money back guarantee. 
and um, you get you get your money back if you go through the program. All right, do we use a quick claim to purchase the lots? No, we buy it. We use title companies and we sell the lots um, with a, a contract for deed or a land contract. So we don't deed the property to the buyer until they pay us off. Cool. The, the company that we use to do the LLCs will help you create an operating agreement for free. That's included, yes. Okay, a lot of people are asking about the cost of everything. Um, the cost of everything. Um, for marketing, like the systems and all, it just depends. Like um, Freedom Soft is 197 bucks a month. How much letter, how much mail do you want to send per month, right? Um, so if you're sending you know, 500 letters a week. That's, that's a thousand, 2000 letters a month. If each letter costs 60 cents, that's $1,200 a month for the mail. Um, so it all depends on how much letters, how many, how much market, but I, it, there's things that I do in the course that will teach you how, like, if you can't do direct mail, um, I'll show you some other ways you can get leads. If you don't want to use freedom soft, I'll show you um, other ways that you can tr keep track of the leads. Um, let's see what else. Like, yeah, here's the deal. A lot of people ask about the cost, 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 cost. Guys, would you spend $1,000 to make $10,000? That's a serious question. Would you? <laughs> yeah, you would, right? Now, it all depends on your budget. I don't want you to go into massive debt trying to do this business. You can start off small. You may be only you may only be able to buy, you know, send maybe a hundred letters a week. You may not be able to download um, a ton of uh, lists or big, you know, but you can just do a little bit at a time. So I'm going to show you low cost effective ways to get leads, to make offers. Um, I'm even going to show you in the course like. Um, you can, there's websites you can go to, to buy first class stamps for like 60, 70% of what the normal cost is. There's resources that we use where you can buy the letter and the stamp already on it for super cheap. So you may not, you know, you may, you may just be sending 20 letters a day, right? Like as you're watching TV, you, you print 20 letters, you send them yourself. Uh, maybe you could even, you get a list of a hundred and you skip trace it and you can text them or call them yourself. So you don't have to do the expensive stuff, right? But on average, write this down to everybody's, who everybody's got this question. On average, you're going to spend between 500 to a thousand dollars for every deal that you do. So if you make, if you make five grand on a deal, you're going to spend maybe $500 on that deal, maybe a thousand bucks. Um, so if you're doing two deals a month, you're going to spend between a thousand to two thousand dollars in marketing and overhead and stuff like that. It also depends on do you have a team? Do you have virtual assistants? Do when you're just getting started, by the way, do you need a virtual assistant? No, you don't have to have a VA to do this business. All right, good. I hope that answers everybody's questions about that. Um, ba -do -ba -do. oh, come on, Paul, let's do it. Hey, if you've signed up, let me know. Type in the chat that you've signed up and you're doing this. I want to celebrate with you. Awesome. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Here we go. I'm looking at the questions. I've already answered that one. Already answered that one. You guys remember at the very beginning, I asked like, who did these deals? Let me just read this to you guys. I asked at the very beginning of this webinar, who has done land deals? And I'm going to read them to you here. There was five or six people that said I have. And this is right from their mouth. First one, Stephen, 10 grand. Linny, 200 to 300% ROI on her deals. Paul made 12 grand on his first deal. Our last deal, I don't know. Morris made 26 grand on a deal. Paul is 800% return ROI on his deals. Dennis did $15,000 and 750% ROI on his deals. Bam. Love it. Okay, so let me go down to the bottom here and answer new questions. What is the cost of a virtual assistant? Um, I just interviewed a guy on my podcast who's paying his VA $2 an hour. And that VA is working about 20 hours a week. So it's costing him 40 
dollars a week. What is that? One hundred and sixty dollars a month. Most VAs are going to be four to five dollars an hour. Venus, is this possible? Well, yeah. I just showed you a hundred pictures of people that have done this, and you know, I'm not. Here's the thing. I, I, I'm not really showing you pictures of testimonials of people that have done deals and I could have, but like, yeah, we've seen all of that before, right? Like it's possible. Of course I'm showing you pictures who just completed the program and got their money back. Awesome. Robertino, let's do it. How many letters are needed typically to get a contract? It depends, Rodney. Like what I showed you when I was in park County, um, I sent out, well, what was the number? 5,800 letters. And I got three contracts, 5,850 divided by three. It was about 1,900 letters to do one deal, but that is a very competitive county. Normally I'm at between 700, like 750, 500 to 750 letters to do a deal. But again, I'm not promising or guaranteeing anything. It depends if you're in a competitive county or not, or, you know, I know I've had some students that go into counties that are very expensive, like in vacation areas, right? Like, um, well, I, I can't think of any right now, but like vacation hotspots, you know, um, you're going to, those properties are more expensive. You're going to get fewer of your offers accepted. So it's really careful. You have to be really um, sure you know where you're going. Okay. Are there funding companies I can use for my buyers? Yeah, you're the funding company. You're going to buy this deal and you're selling it with owner financing. So you may be, you might've gotten a private investor and you're paying $50 a month for that note with your private investor, but you're selling it for $300 a month to your end buyer. Oh, and by the way, I haven't even talked about this, Stephen. Um, you, once your note is seasoned, you can sell your notes to note investors. Yeah, Kenneth, the company I work with will help you figure out your LLCs. Venus, the answer to your question is yes. I forgot to even mention this, guys. If you have questions about payments and stuff like that, and you want to split it up on multiple cards or you want to delay it a little bit, text or call this number. It's a weekend right now as I'm recording this, so it'll go to voicemail. But if you text or call 636-249-1510, 636-249-1510, my team will help you. All right. If there's any problems with the website or something's down or if the website's not up anymore or whatever's going on, if you've got any questions, send an email to support at joemccall.com, support at joemccall.com or text 636-249-1510. And uh, we'll get on the phone and help you with that. Okay. So Venus, yes. How many offers do we need to make to get one deal? Uh, Matt, I'm averaging 25 offers for one deal. Some areas though, I'm like one deal out of every 15. Some it's one out of 30. Yep. Piper's asking, will you be updating the course as things change? Yes. Um, I'm constantly updating the course. I'm adding new things in uh, probably in the next one or two months, I'm going to redo the entire course. So if you invest, if you're a student, you get all of my updates. Yes. 100%. Steven is asking, does your deal, when you buy it, does it have to be in a warranty deed? I don't know. I let the title company worry about that. Cool. Good questions here. Let's go. Um, come on, Robertino. Let's do it. Yes. Um, okay. Good question from Q. Do we have to have an LLC? Can we start doing it in our own name? Yes. You can do it in your own name. You don't have to do it in an LLC. I recommend as soon as you can uh, with an LLC. Stephen, will this work if I have lots with a quick claim deed? So yeah, I think Stephen, I mean, I'm not sure exactly what you're talking about. Um, will this work if I have lots with a quick claim deed? So you already own these lots so that owners have deeded them over to you. Yeah, you mean, you, I think you'd have to, I need to know more information and you probably need to talk to an attorney or a title company, Stephen, to be honest, it might depend on where you are. It might depend on the contracts and paperwork that you have and all of that. So Venus, yes. So send an email or to support at joemccall.com or text us 636-249-1510. 636-249-1510. All right. Boom. Q, what title company do you use? Well, you got to get my course to find out. 
Yes. And they're very familiar with our students. They know exactly what we're doing. All right, good. Now, listen, there's still a ton of people on right now. There's still people watching on Facebook and YouTube. And I can't see all of your comments on Facebook and YouTube right now. But like, what, what, where, what's stopping you guys from saying yes right now? I want to know. I want to know what is stopping you from saying yes. My hair was kind of standing all up. So I'm going to put my hat back on, look more professional. What's stopping you guys from saying yes? Okay, somebody said money. Why? I'm going to give it all back to you. Q. Okay, good. Somebody else says here, the fear of figuring everything out. Okay. We're going to set up your systems for you. I want to show you step-by-step step what to do in the program. I'm taking you A to B to C to D. I'm not leaving anything out. You're going to see step-by-step step what it is that we do to get these deals. And um, yeah. Okay. Some of you guys are saying, I'll have money next weekend. Okay. Listen, this may not be around next weekend. I don't know. You can, well, you, it will be on my website for five grand. If it's, if, it, if the money is the issue, guys, I don't think you understand yet the value of what I'm giving to you here. I'm giving you a complete system. This isn't built for the advanced investor that's already doing land deals. This is built for you, the beginning investor. So you can learn the simple steps to do your first vacant land deal. We're going to set up all the tech stuff for you. We're going to do your first direct mail campaign for you. I'm going to review the counties that you pick personally. I do calls every single week. We have a Facebook group where you can go in and ask questions. You can email my VA team, my tech support team for 12 months. We're going to hold your hand through the entire process here. We're setting up the tech for you. We're going to do your first direct mail campaign for you. You get all the same tools and resources that we use, plus all of the support. It's like we're giving you a business in a box. We're going to hold your hand through this process, okay? joemccall.com slash land, joemccall.com slash land. So if you don't have the money, that's fine. I get it, but how bad do you really want this? Maybe this isn't for you. That's totally fine. I get it, right? It's not for everybody. But price should not be an object here because you could go through the program in six weeks and get all of your money back. You could put it on a credit card and I will make your next payment for you. I'll pay it off. All right, I don't know what else to say to that. Okay, now, Helen, you might be traveling for a month. Listen, you've got six months to go through this. Now, here's a deal, too. Listen, I'm not a stickler on this either. If you let us know in advance, Helen, and you say, listen, I can't start this for a month. Can I still get it now? And then my six months start in one month from now? Yes, we can do that. So send an email to my support team, support at joemccall.com and say, I'm, you know, we got the holidays coming up. You're like, man, I don't, I, I can't start now, but I can start January 1 after Christmas. That's fine. Let us know in advance. And that six month window will start when you say it should start, but you just got to let us know in advance. All right. No problem. Um, Kenneth, send an email or text, text 636-249-1510. Again, send an email, support at joemccall.com or text Six three six two four nine fifteen ten, and we will help you um, get that with that. Okay. The same with your question, ideal. I believe it is. We'll help you with that as well. Okay. Somebody is still on another training program. That's cool. I'm not going to knock anybody else's thing. Let me ask you though: Are they providing you the support and the tech support? and the setup, and the business completion challenge, are they giving you the same thing as I am? Maybe, I don't know. I doubt it. <laughs> JoeMcCall.com slash land. But here's the thing, Ewan. Also, what you could do is say, hey, listen, I'm going through this other program. Can my six-month window start in one month? After I finish this, can it start in one month so I don't get too much on my plate all at once? That's fine. Let us know in advance and we'll work with you on that, okay? 
Yes, Matt, it is very similar to wholesaling houses. Cool. How much is priced? Um, it depends. There's different levels. Um, for what I do personally, I pay, it's $500 a year. There are cheaper things, but I get the highest level and um, it's eight cents a record when you download them. Okay, Bob, I'm looking forward to working with you. Bob, I know you can do it, man. I know you can do it. Thank you. Matt says, you seem to know your stuff. Joe is the real deal. I appreciate that. Okay, good. I don't see any more comments, guys. Anything else that you just want to ask me right now before we wrap it up? Okay, somebody says here. Um, okay, now somebody's saying I've tried going to the website and it's, it does not let me get in there or whatever. Um, I've had a lot of other people already sign up. So I know the site is working. Um, but if you're having problems, please send an email to support at joemccall.com support at joemccall.com or send a text to 636-249-1510. And my team will message you back and hook you up. Um, okay. Um, Ewan, Ewan, a great question. After you, you, you when you sign up, joemccall.com slash land, contact my team, tell them I said you, you can start January 1. Okay, but you need to buy it now. Let my, my team, send them an email. Joe said, they'll ask me. I'll say, yes, I said that. If you start January 1, that's when your six-month window will start. No problem at all. No problem at all. Yeah, Matt says the website works for him. You're welcome, Robertino. Thank you. Uh, Mary, uh, yes. The answer is yes, Mary. Okay, somebody has confusion with the tech stuff. This is why you're hesitating. We're going to set the tech stuff up for you. And here's what I recommend. For, the, for people that don't even know how to turn on a mouse. And by the way, you don't have to turn on a mouse. Usually it's always on, right? Like <laughs> I've coached so many people that would look at a mouse and didn't know what to do with it, right? <laughs> And we help them do deals. So you need to find out what you're good at and what you're not good at. And then outsource the stuff you're not good at. So you don't have to be the techie guy. You don't have to be the podio, I mean, the Freedom Soft expert, okay? You can hire other people to do that for you. Here's what I do. You want to know what I do? Even though I know the tech stuff, I hire other people to do it for me. I don't want to do, and I don't want you to do the $5 an hour activities. I want you focused on the $500 an hour activities. And so I don't want you guys in there data entry input into all this fancy techie stuff. I want you just looking big picture, looking at the deals, making offers. So this is what a lot of my students do. They get a virtual assistant, for four or five bucks an hour, maybe two bucks an hour. Get a virtual assistant or one of your kids or a neighbor or a spouse or somebody else and just pay them on commissions and say, all right, here's Joe's course. You should watch it too, right? But like you're, you're looking at a high level, give them my course and say, we're going to do this together. All right. I want you to do the, all the freedom soft stuff and you learn freedom soft. You don't have to be the one that does it. I hire VAs all the time to do this stuff. I go, I, I give them my username and password into freedom soft. I tell them, go to the tutorials, the freedom soft website and watch all their tutorials. And I'm just going to tell you what to do. You figure it out and you know how to, and you have to do it. That's it. These guys, if you're not tech strong and if you're not tech savvy, that, that is no more excuse for that. Okay. Get somebody else to do it for you. It could be a virtual assistant. It could be one of your kids. Just make them go through. That's what I did with my boys. I could have taught them, but I didn't. I did teach them. I mean, but what I mean is like, I said, go watch all these Freedom Soft videos. Go watch these videos in my course. I didn't have a course at the time, but like, that's it. You don't have to be the one doing all that stuff. You can hire somebody to do it. Now, you don't have to hire a VA to do deals either. If you want, like with my, I told my brother, get a pen and paper, just print a bunch of blank contracts and get a pen and hand write in the offers and send them to the sellers. Shoot, you don't even have to have FreedomSoft, guys. You could use your cell phone, put your cell phone number on all the letters, send them, send 20 a day, 
all the calls go to your voicemail. You listen to it. You look at the deal. You say, all right, I'm going to offer 20 grand. You pull up a blank contract and write $20,000, write their name on it. You don't sign it. You send it to them in the mail. You can do 10 of those a day, five of them a day. No, you do not need different contracts for each state. Now, I'm not an attorney or I don't pretend to be one, so you should talk to an attorney, but we use our the same contract in all 50 states. Um, all right, good. We got to go. Guys, no brainer. Again, I just, please take advantage of this. It may not be available tomorrow. When you decide you're ready for it, it may not be around. JoeMcCall.com slash land, JoeMcCall.com slash land. And I really am looking forward to working with you guys, okay? Appreciate you all very, very much. Thank you, guys. Appreciate you. A big round of applause for hanging around as long as you have. Yay. <laughs> all right. I appreciate you guys. Again, joemccall.com slash land. And we'll see you later. Have a good one.